Welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. It's Sunday night, a.k.a. Monday morning, and we can open up a bazillion Pokemon cards. Before we do, I just want to mention I have done, like, no shipping. So basically, for Sunday, I actually took the day off instead of working all day, and that means no shipping was done, and also no submissions were done. Actually, a submission was done. Uh, I was teaching my wife how to do a submission, so she learned how to do that, and that was, like, the only thing I did card-related today. So I'm super behind is my point. I'm especially behind on the free shipping. So I apologize for that for everyone who's been waiting forever to get their cards out. I'm hoping tonight, I'm just going to knock a lot of it out tonight. So that's what I'm hoping for. And then Monday, I, well, maybe I can try to get the submissions done anyways. The submission box is not actually that large. So we might be able to get them done. All right. What's up, Roger? Roger says, hey, mister. Hey, mister. So we're going to jump over here to the PayPal house. This is where we get our list from that tells us what to do. And we're going to see if anyone pre-ordered or anything of that nature. Some people pre-order before the live stream goes up because they're trying to cut the line. <laughs> okay, so I see an order from Ryan Fielsted, Uh And that's him ordering the Bolton. I remember that. And then me spending some money because I bought a nice sweet coon on eBay. And then Austin Dillman, who made an order at 1214 or 1014 Pacific. He says, two Rebel Clash trying to hit that boss's orders or Dragapult VMAX. I have a back. No problem. Yeah, look at that Dragapult VMAX in the background going for 300 as a 10, huh? Pretty cool. Mr. Austin, are you ready? Austin Dillman. Okay. Straight to opening the Pokemon cards. What do we got? Chitat. And pack number two. Very good, actually. Look at that. Pulling Rillaboom. Not bad. You went straight to pulling Rillaboom. Austin Dillman. Let's see if Austin has a bag first. Where does Mr. live? I'm in Missouri. Yeah, I live in Missouri. Probably why I'm into card collecting, because there's nothing else to do out here. It's a pretty boring place. You think people in the Midwest collect more cards, because there's not a lot to do in the Midwest? I don't go to the beach, I can tell you that. I don't go to the mountains. Here we go, Austin. Wow, Austin, you did a lot better than last time. He says, accept crack. That's right. I think Missouri is known for having a lot of meth labs. <laughs> Pretty exciting, right? Exciting stuff. Michael Levia also made an order. He says, one shiny star. Can I have all the cards? Uh, Michael, you can have all the holographic cards. If you want the non-hollows, you know, the common and commons... I, I can't allow you to have all the common comments because then everyone would ask for them and then the whole table would fill up. Uh, they're just, there's too many of them. They stack up, there's a huge amount. They would not fit on the table. What you can do, I've, I've said this many times, you can order live shipping. This allows you to keep all your bulk. Or you can order a bulk box, which is probably the most appropriate thing to do. And then anytime you order, you always keep all your cards. So those are your two options for keeping all those common uncommons. Now, the nice thing is you already keep all the hollows and those are the meaningful ones. So I already do that. All right, let's see. Common and commons cost a few pennies each, literally. And they weigh a lot. And they will fill the table up very fast. And they take a long time to ship, too. It takes extra time to ship them, not just extra postage. All right, so you end up with these lovely uh, five cards. Crobat VMAX is your hit. Place this over here. Oh, Roaring Skies is here. I forgot about that. Roaring Skies arrived. Just notice you mentioned it. Give me a second. I think it's going to be pricey, but we're going to see. Totally forgot about that. Do -do 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 -do. So, Roaring Skies. Am I seeing this right? Got to go to work soon. Oh, man. I'm sorry, mister. He's got to go to work soon. That sucks. Thank God for Biden. Woohoo! Some people are really happy Joe Biden uh, won the office. I think the Democrats having a supermajority kind of scares me. I like it better when the politicians have to barter with each other and make compromises. All right, let's see. Man, are these not sorted well? 
trying to get a price on these Rorix guys for you guys. So they're going to be pricey. That is, uh, they are not going to be super cheap. I think you guys probably guessed that already. How is Breakpoint cheaper? That, that doesn't make sense. Let me just double check Breakpoint. All right, I've updated the description for Roaring Skies. You'll have to hit refresh, okay? Yeah, Breakpoint apparently a bit cheaper. All right, well, that's just how it is then. Can I send you cards to get graded, says Giovanni B. Yes, that is possible. There's a $5 handling fee, and then it's just my regular uh, submission uh, regular submission price. The, the problem is, I'm getting increasingly, I'm getting a lot of mail from people who want me to middleman for PSA for them, and it's an awful lot of work. It really stacks up. Let me go grab the Roaring Skies booster packs. Looks like I need a new tin, or a new paper for hit plates. Oh, that's heavy. All right. Woohoo! Big old box of Roaring Skies. Kitty, I'm all stocked up. Let's open one just for fun. How do these open? I see Deoxys featured on the front of this card. Is Deoxys in this set? Tell you guys what. Let's take a quick look at what's actually in the Roaring Sky set. I'm curious myself. I think I saw what was in this Roaring Sky set a while ago, and I haven't looked at it again in a while, so I've forgotten. So Roaring Skies is fairly old. And all right, so here are the hot pulls in Roaring Skies. Are you ready for this? You're not ready. So we got a Rayquaza. That's really good. He pulled that the other night. And then there's this secret Rayquaza. Is he secret rare? I can't tell. So this Rayquaza right here, the Mega Rayquaza, is probably a pretty good pull. Shaman, Wally, Winona. Winona, Hydreigon, Latios, Latios. So Latios is in the set. Gallade, he's not so good. Gallade is just okay. So Gallade's in the set. Latios is in the set. Hydreigon's in the set. Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza. This is probably the best pull I have, if I had to guess. Winona. We got some more Rayquaza cards here. Uh, let's see. There's Latios again. There's Dragonite. So you can pull a Dragonite Reverse Hollow. That's really good. Articuno's in here as a Reverse Hollow. Okay. And there's Pikachu. So you can pull a Reverse Hollow Pikachu. That's always good. It's, it appears to be a decent set. And it appears that what you're really chasing after is the Mega Rayquaza. That appears to be what it is. Let's check this out real fast. So here's the artwork on him. Is it a full art? I can't tell if it's a full art. Actually, this is not a secret rare, but man, that looks fancy. And it does look like a full art. Yes, yeah, a full art. Okay, that's probably the card that people are chasing after. What's Winona look like? Here's Winona. She looks okay. I don't recognize her name, so I don't hear about her very often. I like the High Dragon too, by the way. You know, I never played... I don't know what set High Dragon was released in, what, what generation, but I kind of like him. He looks cool. So High Dragon's in the set. All right, so now you guys have a concept of what's in Roaring Skies. I'm going to open a pack for myself. Let's see what I pull in my one pack. A Reverse Hollow, we got Reverse Hollow Bagon and Talonflame. I'm just doing so well. All right, you can have a bonus Bagon. Mr. Who is this? Michael Levia? Mr. Michael Levia, I'm giving you that Bagon. Bagon? Bagon? So let's go find Michael Levia. Michael Leviosa. Levia? Levia? Which sets are Pokemon Vintage? Well, it's, uh, the concept of Vintage is really interesting. Like... Vintage, do you want to talk about just the oldest sets? Or do you want to talk about sets that are out of print? Because I think XY is probably out of print based on how the prices have been blown up. My guess is XY is out of print. Steam Siege is vintage. I mean, it's very close to being considered what you would think as vintage. But is there like an age that a, a card has to reach before it's called vintage? You know, it's kind of a weird thing. So out of print is a little more important than, to me in terms of thought than, than just vintage. Okay, thank you so much, Michael Levia. Let's go ahead and refresh and see if people want to open up some Pokemon cards tonight. Uh, and if nobody does, we'll put some more PSA slabs up on the counter. Okay, jump over here. Doing a big refresh. Last time I was her was July. You were here in July. Nice to meet you again. Hey, mister, I sent you a message on Discord. I'm very behind on everything, including messages. 
Um, I've not been reading my messages. Let me let me go see. Actually, you're easy to locate because your name's actually ID Chronicle. Here it is. He says, "I would like to ship some cards to you for grading. Could you walk me through how on how I can ship the cards to you? Thank you." So the first thing I do is I share my shipping address, which is my real address. Okay, and then I tell you, leave a note with your name and your Discord name. Explain you want grading. There's a $5 handling fee. You pay for everything when it arrives. And don't let your cars get damaged in shipping. We have some more Zelda music playing in the background at night. You guys like the Zelda music? I like the Zelda music. It's really nice. Okay, so we answered your question. Now, Mr. Annoying Visuals is next. Annoying Visuals says one darkness ablaze. That's a really small art order. You know, I might start doing minimum order requirements because it, it actually costs me a little bit. When people just order one pack, it's that PayPal fee, man. So Zelda's the guy, right? <laughs> play Lost Woods. Oh man, I'm so tired of Lost Woods. That's the song I guess played too much. How many Japanese tag team you got hit, Mister? Oh, that's right. I need to ship cheese. Listen, listen, guys. I got off of the stream yesterday and I zonked out and I just hung out with my wife for the rest of the day. I did not get any work done. I did not get. Oh man, this is terrible. Jesus, <laughs> I can't get my feet situated even. Here we go. What's up, Devin A? What's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. What do we got here? We got Simiseer. Glad to see you again. Annoying visuals. I know you guys can't be here every night, every single night like I am. Actually, I haven't seen Ryoma in a long time. You guys remember Ry Ryoma? He must have taken a break. He must have taken a long break. <laughs> I, you know, when it comes to content, I think you get your, your bellies filled, and then you're like, ah, man. It's hard to go back into that routine where you're showing up every time. Hard to do that. So I haven't seen Ryom in a while. But he's got a lot of cards out grading with me, so I'll see him again. People always come back when the card returns. They're like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. You want your card? <laughs> Put this over here. Mr. Culture Josh. What's up, Culture Josh? He says, one tag team Japanese. All right, where's the tag team? Here we go. Mr. Culture Josh. A lot of guys disappeared, but usually show back up. Yeah, exactly. You can't watch Pokemon cards getting opened every single night. How do I even do it? I don't even know how I do it. Ouch. <laughs> I just smacked the lamp. There's a Blastoise Hollow. That's pretty good. And the Full Art metal, uh, full art Fighting Energy. Very good. What are we trying to do here? Set this down, I guess. So that was a good round for you. Let's leave all three of those up. You got Buzzwool. He's not so good. Not a fan of Buzzwool. All right. Look at this artwork, man. That's cool artwork. Okay, put this here. Okay, we'll set that over there. Mr. Culture Josh. Does he have a bag? He says, need a new bag. I've been here since that day someone donated on, donated on Super Chat. You got put on trending. Oh, yeah, that was a while back. That was a while back. What's up, Cooter Hooter? No, Cooter Holder. He says, hey, Mr. Mister, I messaged you on Discord about my shipping. You gave me dragging. Some people on Discord told me that I should have also gotten an email from you, although I have not. Do I need it in an email? Um, it automatically emails. And for some reason, it did not automatically email. So maybe it's in your spam folder. I don't know. It's not a big deal. But in the future, if the email didn't work this time, it probably won't work in the future either. That's my guess. Are you tired? I thought you were going to skip stream. No, I just said it was going to be a little bit later. I said an hour later, and it's about 40 minutes later. So, yeah. I was Mr. Mahasvara. He says, hey, mister, give me two custom Pyaks. You got it, Mr. Mahasvara. Let's see what we got. Pack number one. Uh, this is actually a Mint Blaine's Charmeleon. And then we got some other cards in here. There's an Ivysaur, Skiploom, Psyduck. Okay, so you got a little vintage round. And then pack number two is Japanese base set Magneton. Ooh. And you got Dragonair, Golem, Tauros, and more energy and another trainer. 
Sweet. So you got some vintage cards out of there. How much is that hair cross worth as a 10? Uh, a lot more than $110. Not bad. Yeah. So with these cards, I consider it's kind of interesting. Those are the opening packs, and they're still actually a little bit cold. They're still leading up to an actual hit, but I try to make them a little nicer. So that's what I end up doing. Look at this. Actually, this one right here, as I said, this is actually mint. This is pack fresh. I pull it out of a fresh pack. And then this one, I don't know what it will grade. It looks like it's got a little edge wear up there. Actually, this one's not in bad shape for a uh, vintage card. Yeah, very cool. The Dragonair 2, Dragonair and Ivysaur. That's kind of cool. Do you need a new bag? I don't remember if Masvara needs a new bag. Mahasvara. I'm going to get you a new bag. I feel like you need a new one. <laughs> I'm going to flip your cards upside down. All right. So they're double baggy. Tom Brady cards going crazy on eBay. Did something happen that I don't know about? Did he, like, win? There we go. Mr. Mahasvara. We'll place you up top. Up there. Just remind me you're going by your nickname on the bag name. Joe Harris, he says, one rigged pack, two rebel trash. Okay, two rebel trash. And one wig pack. Any vintage you would sell me. Vintage is getting really expensive. And I'm nervous to sell it because somebody's going to get mad at me on the price. They're going to be like, that's too expensive. I'm going to be like, I don't want to sell it for a cheap price. How you doing, mister? What's up, Gary? Places over here. He says, I won't get mad. I promise. So, yeah, I could, I've got uh, Neo Neo 2, and I think I have a little bit of jungle as well. And I think I have one. Call me Mr. <laughs> okay. I think I have um, Fossil 2. So, and those are all Japanese. What's up, GJM? Mr. Joe Harris pulling Applin. And Ice Q. All right. Very good, mister. This goes to Joe Harris. I'm Joe Harris, and this is my pawn shop. I guess I'm making that joke. It's not that funny. John Joseph Joe Harris. It says here that you have one grade available to you, Joe. You know, great grade that Snorlax? He's pretty cute. When's your next box break? What's up, comic villain? I was supposed to look that up today, last night. No, today. And I didn't, actually. You know, here's the... No, I did I did look it up a little bit. All the good boxes are like $20,000. I don't know if you guys collectively have $20,000 to crack open a box. But it's just a lot of money. I, I don't know if it's worth... I don't know if it's worth getting into. It's kind of like when we did the base set 2 box break. Remember that? So, uh, you know, there was a reason why I kind of stopped doing box breaks. I stopped doing box breaks around the time we did that base set 2 box break. The one that never happened. And the price of the box actually changed faster than people were willing to buy the packs. And I'm like, well, then it's not a benefit to me to do the box break. So there's, it's better to just sit on the box. So the boxes today are even more expensive. So if you wanted a pack for one of these boxes, it costs you like a thousand bucks. And, you know, it's, it's a big risk. And it's very easy to just keep it over here and keep it sealed. So we could do something like, here, let me, um, let me go into live chat. Okay, and let me go ahead and ban this guy. <laughs> All right. So anyways, we could probably do something from like black and white or uh, gold and silver or what were some of the older generations? So gold and silver, black and white, even like a flash fire again from XY. But it's very different because with those sets, the pulls are just not the same as the old vintage packs. You know, like the common and commons, for example. Those aren't that valuable with the old boxes or with the uh, more recently out of print boxes. With vintage boxes, you can open up a pack and literally grade every card. And you kind of do get your money back that way. But we opened up that flash fire box and man, it was kind of tough. You you pull like, one guy pulled a good Charizard. I think he makes his money back. Actually, I think a few guys pulled Charizard. Uh, but a lot of people just pulled cold packs and they contained what, like some common and common reverse hollow. So I don't know. It's a little, um, it's kind of interesting. Mister, how much for Neo 2? Um, I haven't looked it up, but I know my price is probably going to be getting close to $300. You found flash fires. Nice. TCC is the International Express USPS Faster, and is it registered mail? Um, 
International USPS, I could do priority with that and it would cost you, I think it would cost $70 and it should be pretty fast. I don't know what you mean by registered mail. Uh, I just know USPS is our government's mail system. So, you know, it's, I imagine as secure as UPS. UPS is a private company. USPS is the American government. Okay, so that's, that's why we use it. It's also cheaper. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Sweet. We're opening for Joe Harris. I think we did that one already, right? Yes, the Rick Pack and the Rebel Trash. Do we open the Rebel Trash? Wait, do we open the Rick Pack? Hold on. So we were opening for Joe Harris. I don't think we opened his uh Re I don't think we opened his wig pack, right? Yeah, so we opened these, but we didn't get his wig pack. So give me a second, Joe. Let's get your wig, wig pack. Here goes. Pulling Sabrina Psyduck. That's actually pretty cool. Sabrina Psyduck. He says, yes, you did. Oh, well, he gets a free pack. That's how that works. If I make a mistake, he gets a free pack. All right, free pack for Joe Harris. You're welcome, Joe. That's what I get for being distracted. Chris T is next. He says, one Roaring Skies and one Custom Booster. Need a new bag. What cards do you have for up to $200? I don't know. Probably something. Oof, let me reach for this. First time watching a live. Oh my gosh. So Roaring Skies, how do I reach this? Here we are. Sweet. Let's get this busted open. I placed an order, but PayPal's reviewing it. Uh-oh, should I be concerned? Okay, we got one Roaring Skies. And one Custom Booster. Oh, this is an XY Era Reverse Hollow Dark Ride. Very cool. I used to hand those out um, for free. <laughs> Because I, I bought a bunch of them, and I thought it would be a, a nice little thing to hand out. And uh, I found one. I found one in my piles of cards. How cool is that? It's a cool card. Now over here, we've got... Bonnet! All right, sorry, mister, just a bonnet. Actually, your dark is cooler than the bonnet. Can you sell sports cards? You know, I probably won't ever sell sports cards. I just don't know enough about sports. Not a sports guy. There's probably a guy out there doing sports cards. And if there isn't, maybe it can be you. I just don't watch them. Don't got time for them. Chris T, does he say Nino bag? Oh, he said Nino bag. All right, perfect. What's up, Beast Mode? Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, we do have Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's sold out, and I have more on the way, okay? So Yu-Gi-Oh! will arrive eventually. Hopefully soon. You guys have been kind of popular, and uh, I kind of understand it a little bit more. I think, I think it's decent. All right, we have Thalia. What's up, Thalia? Hi, Mr. Miss here. It's Miss Thalia. She says, two tag team all-stars. Please, I'll be back. Okay, sounds good. Two tag team all-stars. So if you don't pull, like, a full art out of these, then the next best thing is probably to pull the Mewtwo, the Reshiram, I'm sorry, the Mewtwo, the Zekrom, and the Charizard Reshrom. Those are the three best GXs. And I gotta say, I was looking this up earlier. There's not a lot of them on the market available for sale. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you could probably grade this. Maybe I'll open a few and grade them. What do we have here? Zorora. All right, so Zorora and Mewtwo, not bad. Mr. Illinois, oh. Can't even read it. So the, the message system's moving a little too fast now. It's hard for me to read what you guys are saying. Thank you so much, Comic Villain, for becoming a member of the server. Member of the channel. So Thalia, you'd be up here. Those packs have a lot of hollows. Yeah, it's like five hollows. It is a lot. You know, when we started, I would remove all the hollows. Because I was like, they don't matter. But, you know, people really do like the hollows. So now I just leave them in. Hmm. I must have you up top. Here you are. Sweet. 
Did they reprint Tag Team Japanese? Uh, I don't know. Did they? Michael Levy is back. He says, Tag Team Japanese. Oh, man. Man, you guys got to... Michael, you got to make one order, okay? Just one order with all the cards you want in it. If you make a bunch of mini orders like this, it's not a good thing. It's actually worse in many ways. It also takes longer to do bookkeeping on lots of small, you know, microtransactions, if you want to call them that. Yeah, we're, I, I might start... I don't know. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted, guys. Should we do... Should we have the system set up so you can buy as little as one pack? Hmm, good question. There is a loss to that, but there's a convenience to it, too. Some people only want to open one pack. Okay, Mr. Michael, here you go. Some people go, okay, I'll open one more. And then they go, I'll open one more. And then after that, they say, okay, I'll open one more. All right, let's go ahead and refresh. What about the eight yo kitties? Mr. I ordered two, says two Tonka. Tuanka. Let me go take another look at that. Give me a moment. Might have confused it. It might not have said two in the message, and so I might have assumed it was one. Hit the like button. What? Nobody's hitting the like button. All right, we're shutting up shop right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I appreciate all the likes, guys. So where were we? Michael Levia did order two of them. Give me a moment. You did, in fact, order two of them. Here you go, mister. Costs are here. Don't make a minimum. That will make people feel obligated to buy more because they are as well as as harder for people who don't have as much money. Yeah, that's true. I know. There's a trade-off. The thing is, it would make my life easier. That's the thing. So my life would be easier if there was a minimum order. We used to do minimum order on this channel. It would be a minimum order of like five packs, three packs, and you know, you would have to spend at least 20 bucks. And this helped out with PayPal fees, which are enormous. By the way, I looked up how many PayPal fees I paid in 2020. Did you know it was about $30,000 of PayPal fees? I paid about $30,000 of PayPal fees. Pretty interesting. Okay, let me just head backwards here. I noticed there's a thing at the very beginning of the... At the very beginning of the live stream, there's always one or two orders that can get messed up. And I think that's because everyone's order's coming in and it gets jumbled. And when you refresh it, it like straightens into a new order. So we've got Mr. Alejandro's next. Hello, Alejandro. We just make sure we didn't miss anyone. That's the point. Two Sun and Moon, Tag Team Japanese, one Crimson Invasion. All right, place this here. Sun and Moon, Tag Team Japanese. Ready a fresh box. 30,000 Steelix? $30,000 pay pay PayPal fee? It's a lot of money, man. PayPal is not free. It is for the people who are using it to buy something, but it's not free for me. So you're trying to be smart about it. Mr. I messaged you on Discord with the reviewed PayPal payment information. Okay, sounds good, mister. Hey, we got a new member. Mr. Eric Clash. Thanks for joining, Eric. Okay, good luck to Alejandro with his pulls. Hope you are well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Toss this over here. All right, here goes. We've got, oh look, it's Mewtwo Mew. So nice. Sweet. Well, I think one of the reasons why the PayPal fees were so high, you got something back there, is because we do a lot of small transactions and those actually add up to a lot of money each day. Look at that. Okay, very nice. Let's get this sleeved up. Place this here. Have you heard of Pokemon Tretta? Did you hear that Logan Paul will come back to Pokemon cards, mister? Oh yeah? Somebody mentioned that the other day. I didn't know whether to believe him or not. <laughs> he, said, he said he heard it in like Logan Paul's podcast. All right, what do we have here? Weedle, type null. Okay, there you go, mister. That was all for Mr. Alejandro. Did you see my Discord message? Uh, I may have. I don't, I don't know. I might not have. I think I saw one of yours from earlier. 
Mr. Martinez. And your best pull here is probably that full art. Okay, and place it over here. People try to quit Pokemon, only to realize it's impossible to quit it. We have Mike, Mr. Michael Levia again. Oh, no, 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 we already did that one. That's right. And then Alejandro showed up underneath them when we refreshed. Mr. Billy Baumgartner. He says, two custom packs. I have a bag. All right, Billy. Billy. Time for Billy to pull this Oddish. And Gyarados. Sorry, Billy. He's doing another box break. He said so on Twitter. Nice. That's fantastic, man. I'm, you know what? I watched Pokemon card prices literally explode when he did that base set box break. It's fantastic for anyone who's in the hobby for him to be doing this. So, I mean, that's really good. So, Billy Bomb Gartner, I'm all for it. Can you join the break? I mean, I could. I, I avoided it last time. I didn't feel like it was worth it. <laughs> you know what I did instead? I went out and I bought two first edition base set booster packs for literally the price of one of his. So, the price of his does include the fun of being in his live stream. Um, but I'm okay not being in his live stream. I don't mind. I don't mind. I like our, I like our little community. You guys found me however the way that you found me. And, uh, I kind of prefer it that way. Alex Trailer, Let's see. Alex Trailer, Two Lost Thunder, two Darkness Ablaze. What's up, Tenzenberg? How's it going? Two Lost Thunder, two Darkness Ablaze. You know, it's actually hard to talk fluently. Really, yeah, smoothly, I should say. When your brain's multitasking so much. You found me on TikTok. Found you through that live stream somehow. Probably the algorithm. It's the algorithm. Hey, we got another member. New member, Gustavo Ortiz. All right, nice to meet you, Mr. Gustavo. Mr., I found you randomly here, and I'm glad you... Oh, nice. I found you through YouTube recommendations. Sweet. Did you know this live stream is ranked, like, number three or number four sometimes? So this live stream does very well for the word Pokemon cards. Yeah, we're our, our search rank is very high. We basically make it onto the load page. So when you load a page of YouTube videos, there's always about five videos that you can visibly see without having to scroll. And we're on that page. So you just have to search Pokemon card live stream uh, or Pokemon cards and we'll, we'll show up when we're live. We got Soul Rock Galizapod. Oops, come on now. Sorry, I'm a little rougher with the, the uh, reverse hollows because I don't consider them that valuable. <laughs> All right. How's it going, uh, GMAC? So this was for Alex Trailer. Alex, unfortunately, your cards were cold. You're just going to get these holographic cards. Mister, I found you on YouTube, stuck in the bathroom at the Bunny Ranch. Boy, what you doing at the Bunny Ranch? Does your girlfriend know? You're going to get in trouble. Don't tell mom. Where we put Alex Trailer last? Brian, Alex Green. Aaron Fowler, Brian Boltieski. Wait, does he say I need a new bag? He says I have a bag. All right, let's keep looking then. Knowing visuals, Austin, Bryce, Brian, Brian. Hmm. We must be hiding Alex Trailer's bag. Okay. So he's definitely not in here. Oh, man, I still haven't updated the emojis. I swear to God, I wish I had some kind of, like, assistant or something. Like, I could hire an assistant to help me just do all this stuff. God damn, dude. We must have missed him. He's got to be in here. This is where I looked. Oh, my God, he was the second bag. We passed him. You know how we passed him? Because the name was all crinkled up like this, so I didn't read Alex. But when you fix it, <laughs> it says Alex. So <laughs> we passed him on the first box that we looked at. There we go. I knew it was going to be in that box. That's what my brain told me. It says it's in the first box. Ruben, Mr. Ruben, two team up, two wig packs, start a new bag. You got it, Ruben. Two team ups. So for everyone who just arrived, we have Roaring Skies available now. It's kind of pricey. The best pull is going to be Rayquaza and Mega Rayquaza. So two wig packs. Oh. We got some hollows. Okay. Nice little round of hollows. And. Oh. What we pull. 
One box of tag team. Congratulations. One box of tag team. Not bad. Who is this for? Ruben Perez. Ruben, it's your lucky day. Give me a moment. Ah, here we are. All right, instant God Pack, right? I think we already pulled a God Pack. I don't know how quickly we'll run into another one. They're pretty rare. Oops. So let's start here with your tag teams. Mr. Ruben. So that's what you can get from the wig pack sometimes. Just if you're lucky, that's it. And uh, so the rig packs are, their, their actual name is Large Custom Booster. People call them wigged for fun because they stole the election. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of cold packs and then there's one really hot pack that gives you something cool like this. Oops. But especially there's going to be a lot of PSA cards in the wig packs now. You know, let's get these team up on top. Chiefs Kingdom winning Super Bowl. What? You mean like the Kansas City Chief? What are the odds of one in like 100? What? What do you mean like pulling a hot thing out of the box? It's a lot better than one in 100. It's like, it's between one in five and one in 15 typically. But sometimes what I'll do is there will be uh, better odds than one in five. And there's the worst odds are never, the odds are never worse than one in 15. So one in 15 are the worst odds. And they usually only occur when there's something real expensive in there. And that's it. So sometimes there's something real expensive in that box. Okay, so Charmander and Squirtle out of the team-ups. They're actually pretty cool. Did you watch the UFC fight? Nope. I did one thing. I made out with my wife, and I'm opening Pokemon cards. Pokemon card life, guys. I got hot Pokemon card stuff to do right now. Oops. There we go. So we got Charizard GX. That's the best GX to pull from the set. Blacephalon. Yeah, I believe this card's very nice. And if you it grades a 10, which it probably will, you can probably sell it for a little bit of a profit. What else we got over here? We got Incineroar. How much tag team do you have? I'm almost out. But I have more on the way. Mister, give me free packs. Oh, and mod. <laughs> Like I adds the oh and mod to it. Ew, Mister kissed a girl. I kissed a girl and I liked it. That fight was wigged. It's wigged, Mister. <laughs> Mom, he wigged it. Stop the count. Put this in here. Ah oh, man. Quip made out with a Pokemon. Pay what? What? Oh, that's the best full art energy. So that's the fire energy secret. Very good. So congratulations on that poll. Here's the wishy-washy. I'm a little bit jealous. You're going to have to give that to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Set this here for now. You have a fat bag, man. Here's uh, Mew. This is probably gradable. It's a gradable holo. People like the uh, holographic Mews. Wishy-washy ruined it. It's not over yet. Let's see what else we get. Okay, just making sure we didn't steal a hollow by accident. Mawile, I go pretty fast, so if I accidentally put a hollow into the bulk pile, it was an accident. Okay. These are looking pretty good, so the last pack is probably going to be pretty hot. Are you guys excited? Let's see what's in the last pack. Pokey Reb tapped out. Well, I don't know if he's truly tapped out, guys, but uh, Pokey Reb's changing the way he's doing his content. That's cool. He should do what he likes to do. And I think he'll do absolutely fine. Oh, that sucks. You got the Texan. <laughs> What's his name? I don't remember his name. Oh. That's not the character I'd want to pull. He's like the opposite of Misty. <laughs> it's a fat older male. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Not my style. He's got the cowboy hat and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough uh that's a tough full art to pull, for sure. Clay, thank you. I mean, somebody will like clay. Surely there's somebody out there collecting clay. But I'm just saying, most people will collect Misty, but not everyone will collect clay. 
Okay, and that was for Ruben, right? Did Ruben say he had a new bag? I don't remember. Starting a new bag. Well, Ruben, you've got a huge bag. Ruben, you can get $1 live shipping. I'm going to place you in the R box, actually. If you want $1 live shipping, just let me know. I should make it $2 live shipping because $1 is just going to be a PayPal fee, honestly. So there's no point to it. Oh, there's just no more room for the R's. Okay, you're going over here. Joe Harris, he says, one shiny star. Also, that grade was used on the base set Blastoise, so you might want to cross it out on the back. Oh, thanks. Thank you, thank you. PokeRab didn't tap out at all. He just said the pack opening took all his time and it was too much to sustain, not financially. I like Clay, totally not biased. <laughs> I asked my landlord if I could pay next month rent in Pokemon. He said no. Well, that's because your landlord doesn't know anything. He's a boomer. I would have said yes. I'd have been like, okay, but I get to pick what, what cards you pay. Okay, here you go, Joe. Picking up Ndidi. He got a promotion. Mister, do you recommend grading a Mega Charizard EX from XY Evo? Uh, yes. Don't know why you would not grade that. It's a Charizard. We got Mr. Ivanski. Is it Ivanski? One custom, two Rebel Clash. Okay, two Rebel. Oops, 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 oops. Here we go. And one custom, right? Is that what he said? Gyarados, you did it! Yay! Mr. Ivan. I meant to ask, quick rating service? I'm stupid, sorry. What? Finally placed first order, hoping for the hot Pokemon card stuff. Oh, you're going to get the hot Pokemon card stuff. The Doomer generation? Oh my gosh. Maybe someone bought his collection and he quit? Nah. Nah, I don't think he... I don't think he's going to quit. Trevor not. I think he's just going to make different kind of content. Comfortable content. We got Toxtricity. This is a pokey grind doing this, what I'm doing over here. So I can understand wanting to take a break from it. He'll probably come back and do it again. That's what I think. Okay, Ivanski. Maybe he'll have a new system where he just charges more. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do, right? When the demand is high, you're supposed to raise your price. Isaac. Hmm. Maybe you're up top. Let's check up top. Got a bag, should be up top. Oh my god, I gotta read these messages all the way. Here we are. <laughs> There we go. Javier or or Royo? Javier, what's up, man? I always pronounce your last name wrong. He says one all star. We're gonna need. Oh no, we have a fresh box. Here it is. For Mr. Ivan. Sleep. Mr. is like Mr. Krabs, but with Pokemon. <laughs> I'm ready. I feel like Spongebob, not Mr. Krabs. I gotta show up to work. Mr. Krabs just kind of chills back and make... You know who's Mr. Krabs? Probably YouTube. Places like YouTube and PayPal, they don't do the work. They just have me do the work, and then they profit off of me. So they're the Mr. Krabs. I'm like Spongebob. I gotta show up, and I gotta open these packs up. <laughs> it's a very, very involved job. Mr. Javier, I gotta wake up. I gotta have a good attitude every day. I have a lot of energy. And I gotta open these packs up. I'm like the I'm like the fry chef putting your order together. Mr. Krabs is Google. Google just chilling back, bringing in the ad revenue for itself, right? Mr. Cheese says one custom pack. You got it, Mr. Cheese. Cheese. Toxtricity, he says, mmm girl, I like that Pokemon you got. Alright. Grab this over here. You'll take a number nine. Yeah, that's kind of how it works, doesn't it? You actually put in an order uh, through PayPal, and I take your order. That's kind of how it is. So I feel like SpongeBob, not Mr. Krabs. You don't want it. Too too late, cheese. <laughs> it's in your bag. Mr. Kai Conrad. Kai says, two custom boosters. I need a new bag. Cheese, I did all the work of finding your bag. Mr. Is it Kai? I think it's Kai. All right, pack number one is Heatran. And pack number two is Raichu. 
All right, you're picking up two GXs. Mister is feeding all our Pokemon addiction. A little bit. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of true. All right, new bag for Mister Kai. Cobra Kai. Mister Squarepants. I would like one Krabby Patty with extra wig sauce. <laughs> I opened four Tacti Mall Star and I got only one. What? You got only one Spankies. Well, let's see. Conrad. Oops. Kind of misspelled that, but that's okay. Put it in the K box, which is over here. It's GMAC. What's up, GMAC? One wick pack, two breakpoint, two roaring skies, and like the trash for my awesome book project. I think I think she means keep the trash. So let's see. One wick pack. Oh, wow. You're getting lucky, man. PSA 9, 204. Wow. Okay. And that's this one right here. So PSA 9, Frost Moth. Ooh, beautiful card. I think it's probably about $100. Okay. We'll place this over here. And then two Breakpoint, two Roaring Skies. Wonder when I'll run out of Breakpoint. Two Roaring Skies, oh right. One. Mipdol, I'm DMing you Discord. Always can count on Mipdol. His uncle owned a gas station that sold cars. Damn. Two awesome wigs right in a row. Okay, here we go. Sneep. I have a box. Thank you for the reminder. Do I have Steam Siege? Yes, of course. Who doesn't have Steam Siege? Somebody who's not about to get pokey rich. So you got a little slow poke here. Actually, I'll put slow poke in your bulk box, okay? We've got Ratata. Ratatata. I'm in the ghetto. We have Pelipper and Dust Docks. So he's not hollow. So you can get that card hollow and non-hollow, and the goal is to get him as a hollow. Like this. So this Dragonite is hollow. Oh, he's got print line though. Oh, that sucks. And the Togekiss is hollow as well. So you can get them both as hollow cards. That's a little flake there. Right under the wing, you see that? Weird. So we'll play, place these here. What I find interesting is they're both holographic, and that means that even in the reverse hollow and the uh, non-hollow slot, they can both come in as uh, reverse hollow holographic. So interesting. He's still pretty cool, even with the print line. Okay, you got a little baggie of bags here. Oops. That's falling out of the box. That's because the box needs to be replaced. Okay. Glad the other mod here so I can lurk. <laughs> G Mac. Place that over there. And uh, G Mac. So we're gonna find G Mac's bag. I think you're up top. Haunted G Mac. Ooh, with that beautiful Espeon. I forgot about that. He pulled that out of breakpoint. Oh, hold on. Did I not sleeve these? These deserve to be sleeved. Thought I sleeved him up. There we go. Okay, and that goes up top. Next, we have to refresh. So now we're refreshing to see who comes next. Almost a PSA one, that's right. <laughs> uh, let me go grab my drink. Yeah, if I drink, though, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. I will. That's just how it works, guys. But I'm thirsty. What do you think, Kitty? Are you thirsty? I'm thirsty. Oh, so good. Okay. Jump over here. We drinking Canada Dry again tonight? That's right. Canada Dry. Okay, let's see. Where were we? So we were at GMAC. Let me just make sure no other orders loaded underneath. I think we're good. Okay, next up we have Sergio Espinoza. What's up, Sergio? 
from Sergio E. One Japanese tag team booster pack, please. Thank you. All right. Sergio, did you have a bag? Sneep. My fear is you pull a pokey rev on us. All right, guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> what? Pokey rev's not going anywhere. I'm sure his channel is his source of income, so he's he's not going anywhere. He's probably just not needing to do card breaks, so he's trying out a different style or something. He's not he's not gone. Mr. Sergio, did he say yes? I wasn't paying attention. Sean. You know, he's probably just a multimillionaire now. And he's like, wait a second, I don't got to do this. I'm just kidding. He probably did pretty good. Because I don't know what he paid for those booster boxes. But it was definitely... Those boxes exploded in price. So he was selling those boxes off probably for like 20k... And I don't know what he paid for him, but it could have been as little as 2K. So he was doing all right, probably. Jesse, what's up, Jesse? Hello, mister. Two Sun and Moon Tag Team Japanese, one shiny star, and live shipping on the bag. All right. So let's get the tag team. His uncle is a hoarder of collectibles and only keeps what he likes until he gets bored of it. What? People didn't watch the video. They say the title and instantly thought, oh, my God, he quit. That's the problem. People don't do research on anything anymore. That's right. Let's see, one shiny star. I should quit, but then I should, like, make a comeback, and it'll get me into the news, the pokey news. Did you hear TCC's quitting? And then I'll be like, you know what? I'm coming back. I'll take, like, one week off, and then I'll be like, all right, I'm back from quitting. <laughs> Here goes. Open your pack. Well, I got to go in, in order, okay? Okay, we got Rushifu. Nice, shiny surfetched and Zamazenta. So there's a chance to get fossil and jungle boxes for a deal or free. What? <laughs> he literally did a pack break today to quote Mr. He just scaled back the member openings because he couldn't keep that bot at 2K and sold you full spot. Oh man, it sounds like you're talking a little bit of trash, man. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with him profiting off of it. If the demand on the boxes went up, that means that he invested his money right. You know what I mean? So good on him. I'm not going to hate on him for, for making some smart moves in a collect collectibles hobby. What do we got? We got Metal Energy. You fools. <laughs> I quit Pokemon cards to focus on opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, no. <laughs> you want to buy slabs? Oh, that sounds cool. Let me know how that goes. Okay, Mr. Jesse. Set this here. Jesse says he's ready to ship. Here's Jesse's bag. And you confirmed your address. Thank you very much for that. Here we go. What is your favorite set? My favorite set, huh? Good question. My favorite set is Pokemon Sword and Poopers. Sword and the Pooper. All right. Let's go ahead and print you a label, Mr. Jesse. You ready for this, Jesse? Plug in the right printer first. I had the other printer plugged in. Yes, Equip made her first PSA submission today. Took a long time for her to learn. Uh, you know, helping her learn how to do it made me realize how difficult it is. A lot of it's real unintuitive. All right, I'm going to open this. And... She says, what? She says, I want to bang a ditto. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, that's acceptable. This is a 
This is a no judged zone. We are sex positive in here. We're over here. Johnny, close your ears. Okay. I'll put this over here. I'm going over to the shipping table. I'll be right back. If you guys judge cheese, you're all haters. Cheese is just trying to make a, a better version of himself, and he needs help from a ditto. He's trying to pass his IVs down, if you get what I'm saying. Grab this. Trying to make a version of himself that knows the move huge pee-pee. All right, Jesse, you're shipped. Now we have Dustin Carpio. What's up, Dustin? Dustin says, hello, mister. One tag team, one rival clash, one darkness ablaze. All right, Dustin. Dustin, you got a bag. When you guys make an order, be sure to let me know if you have a bag or not. All right. Sleep. Why do you have the credit cards in the back? Uh, those are for sale. So you can see the prices on the bottom left-hand corner. And occasionally what I do is I bring out more cards. Here. Like this. So we can rotate these. All right. Mr. Dustin, are you ready? We got... Dust nor Trevenon. Dustin said he had a bag. Okay, thank you so much. We have Malamar. Japanese Ditto's, where's that? Larvesta. Oh, so you guys will put your Pokemon in the daycare with the Ditto, but look bad, bat me funny? What? <laughs> okay, so Dustin already has a bag. That's the word on the street. Here he is. We're going to put this in the front. I think this is the best pull here. There you go, Dustin. Mr. Craig Shaw. Hello, Craig. He says, have bulk and bag. One darkness, one steam siege. One darkness. One steam siege. One sword and shield base set. For Mr. Craig... Mister, I just ordered for the first time. Hope I did everything right. I hope so, too. Sneep. Sneep. All right. Where do you find places and how to order? That is a good question. You'd bang guard. Oh, my God. Jesus just saying what most of you guys agree with already. Man, you guys are weird. Freaking weirdo Pokemon freaks over here. We got Clay Doll. You guys need Jesus. Marilyn Litleo places over here. Mister, do you buy crypto? Uh, I buy Pokey Crypto. Does that count? Wait, this isn't a hollow. <laughs> so, just hollows this time. Oh, Craig, wait a second. You keep your bulk. Cool. You're one of those bulk guys. Okay, here we go. I'd buy Pokecoin. Sorry, you just lost your code. May I offer you another code? Nah, Serena ain't loyal, man. I don't mess with Serena. What are we talking about? Oh, man. Serena, she's she's a pokey slip. <laughs> okay, we'll do this right now. What do you expect from a bunch of nerds? Nerds. <laughs> it's a bit presumptuous. I'm not a nerd. They call me an alpha chad. So Jeffrey, how do I say your last name? Luthien? I think it's Jeffrey Luthien. He says, one custom booster, one shiny star, one tag team, one lost thunder, no bag, first time buy. Okay, let's grab the lost thunder. And let's grab a shiny star. Do 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 do. All right, shiny star, one tag team. And one custom booster. Let's see what we get out of the booster. It's the booster pack. Clefairy doll, that's a base set rare trainer. Okay, and also that's considered a cold pull in the box. Club Fairy Doll Rare. Not bad. You could probably grade that. All 
All right, let's see what you pull. Sneep. Hey, mister, when I be able to pick priority mail over first class for live shipping? It says Javier. Um, if you have a really, really heavy bag over a pound, I automatically turn it into priority mail. Um, no, your bag has to go by based on weight because I swear to God, everyone will then say, it's got to be priority mail, mister. And priority mail... Priority mail jumps up to eight bucks and then 14 bucks, depending on what kind of box you use. So it's already, it's, it's, it's only a little bit cheaper first class, but it, it just adds up so fast. Like I spend $500 on shipping in like three days. Mister, you won that good priority mail, huh? You got a heavy bag? I mean, you can have it with the heavy bag. Mister, what Pokemon tattoo would you let me do on you? Uh, I get a shuckle right above my, my ball sack. Let's see. Nine Tails, what is your favorite first edition set? Will it be okay for if I pay for it? Yeah, you know what? If you pitch in like an extra two bucks, go for it. I'll, I'll swap it up to priority. And then just tell me uh, that you want priority, okay? I'm just imagining every single person telling me priority mail only, mister. I'm roll my eyes. <laughs> it's not even that much faster. Priority mail versus first class mail, they're actually quite similar. Look at this, ooh, beautiful. If I got live shipping, do you send what? Do I send tracking? Well, you're supposed to always get tracking. I automatically grab your PayPal email address, and the tracking number is supposed to go to your email. So, Mr. Jeffrey, I think he needs a new bag. No bag. First time buying. All right, so let me explain your pulls to you. Your Reshiram's pretty good. Crobat's not that good. He's just a... Uh, there's a lot of pulls like this, in, but but you got him with the Reshiram. So the Reshiram's the hit. You also got this Nine Tails. It's pretty cool. And a Clefairy doll from the Custom Pack's not bad either. So you did all right. More PSA slabs, says Andrew. What? Yeah, we'll get more. Let me keep on top of all these orders. There's a lot. Jeffrey. Luthien. Mister, I want next day shipping on one pack of Steam Siege. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you want to pay shipping for that, I, I'll do that. It just, you know, if you guys are really anxious to get your package super, super fast. Frank says, three wigs packs, mister. Also, Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs? KC Chiefs? So, Frank Morrison, are you ready? What Chiefs are you talking about? I'm from Missouri. Okay, we got pack number one. Raichu. Pack number two. <gasps> What's this? 15, Rebel Clash. And a round of hollows. I hope Champions Path DTV go up in the next year. I have a couple invested. Me too, man. I hope they go up. Mister, I just want to say thank you again for these streams. No problem, man. Thank you guys for supporting the channel with all these packs you purchased. All right. So Frank Morrison would like 15 packs of Rebel Clash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15. How long is the wait line? Um, if I can go real fast, it might stay short. But if I fall behind, then it's going to get really long. Because you guys keep ordering throughout the night. And I try to keep on top of it. Like a crazy fast food worker. Dallas, Texas. Woohoo! I got my 10-gallon hat and my revolver. Sneep. You know, I've actually thought about getting into antique guns. Right? You guys ever seen antique guns like from Red Dead Redemption? Those are collectibles. Would you guys ever want to see a collection of those? Those are pretty cool. I didn't know this, but they can actually get really expensive. Antique guns can. You can get like guns from Europe that are inlaid with gold and all that stuff. Ooh, they're pretty cool. Do I deliver to Ireland? Yes, I do. There's a $13 shipping fee though, okay? So I do deliver international packages, but there's an extra fee for shipping. We got Farfetch'd. You're guaranteed one card from every pack. I'm just going to grab the nicest one. We got Snover. That's what we do with these hollows now. Anyone here own guns? Joe Biden took them away from me. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, here we go. Rillaboom. Rillaboom Full Art. He's not the Dragapult. Where's that Dragapult? That $300 Dragapult. That's what we're looking for. We got me out. You want cheap slabs? Mister, you're going to be surprised to discover that slabs in general are just not cheap. They're in too high demand. 
Japanese vintage swords? Are they? Yeah, so some people collect uh, old Japanese swords as well. I don't know if I do that, but I, I like the idea of collecting old vintage guns from like 500 years ago. It's pretty cool. You can sort of buy guns as they sort of evolve to being actually pretty good from being bad. You know, not being very accurate, not being very powerful. Oh, what do we have here? Last pack? Oh, dear, mister. Very unlucky on the Rebel Clash. Sorry about that. You know, when you win those big rounds of uh, booster packs, you just kind of hope you're going to get something hot. So Rebel Clash probably just got mine swept a little bit there. You did pull Rillaboom. And you got this big round of hollows. They might fit into a penny sleeve. Go to Rock Island Auctions. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. That's a website that does nothing but vintage guns. The problem is, I think it requires you to have some kind of gun collecting license. And I definitely don't have any kind of license for that. I could be wrong. The other thing I'm concerned about is I wouldn't be able to share my hobby on like YouTube. YouTube would be like, no, that's a gun. You can't show that. Like, bitch, it's a vintage firearm. It doesn't even, nobody's using this. Well, you got a lot of hollow cards. Damn. If I place an order but don't add shipping in case the pack is trash, can I pay one shipping after if the cards are worth it? Are you talking about for international shipping? So for international shipping, you don't have to pay international shipping until you're ready to ship. So you can buy as many packs as you want and then pay the international shipping. Mr. Frank. Frank Morrison, does he need a new bag? Let's see if Frank needs a new bag. They got charged for showing a picture of rifles. That's crazy, dude. Dude, you live in a world where guns are real. Like, what the hell? How could you get charged at a fine for showing something that exists? What the? It, they're just... Oh, my Lord. That's that's too far, man. You know how it's like people are trying to find out when, when it's too far, too much control, too much censorship? That's too far. What the? They're just guns, man. Mr. Michael Al Abiso. He says, first time, I will need a bag, two custom boosters, and two vivid voltage. All right, you got it. I have a credit for a rocket pack. How much is it? I want the Tyranitar PSA. It's a Santos. What's up, Santos? Santos Ayola. Uh, could you explain what you mean by that? A, a credit. Or do you mean like store credit? Look around right now. Let's see, Matt S. Hmm. You pronounced my name right. Oh, no problem. Aaron Matson. Oh, God damn it. Could you explain what you mean by that, mister? Mister, all firearms from 1897 and older are considered antiques and don't even require a dealer to buy them. You can have them shipped directly to you with no background check. Oh, crazy. Santos says, yes, because you ran out of rocket packs. Hmm. Santos, could you do me a favor? Send me a message on Discord so I can see what we were saying last. I want to read over our conversation. Have you ever looked up Demolition Ranch? They're like a mill in the hole. What? We got Stable Eye. All right. So from the Rebel, I'm sorry, from the Vivid Voltage. No, no craziness. How about your two custom packs, though? Two Shining Legends and a Squirtle. Wow. Sweet. Do guns from 1897 even work? I, I believe they can, actually. Yeah. In fact, I think people pay extra when they do work. Okay, so two Shinings. Good luck on your Shining Legends. You have my name on an energy card, says Santos. Sweet. I just looked around at the energy cards and I didn't see it, but it's possible that so much time has passed that it fell down. We got Ivysar Palkior. Alvis Ivysor Palkia. Trying to say their names together at the same time. Bulbasaur Palkia. Oof. All right, so the Shining Legends packs were unfortunately cold. Okay. Let's see, we'll put this over here. So the squirrel's kind of nice, though. <laughs> Have you ever pulled a God Pack? Yeah, we pull God pa Packs every now and then. They seem to be pretty rare, but I'm also thinking that people might be searching for God Packs and then selling off the rest of the packs. So we got to be real careful with that. Mr. Michael... First time, so he's going to need a new bag. Santos says he has a credit for a rocket pack, huh? Wow. 
Michael Alabiso. There we go. God packs are available. Well, not just the packs, but I think the actual sealed booster boxes. I think this. I think people are trying to weigh those sealed booster boxes. Okay, let's see if Mr. Ayolo has a message for me over here. Nope, that's not Santos Ayolo. Santos, send me a message on Discord, will you? So I can see our last conversation, kind of catch up with where we were at. Um, let me think about this. I, I know. Let me check in here, too. Oh, were you talking about these rocket packs? No, I don't see you on this list. Oh, here we go. Santos Ayolo. It says you are owed one rocket pack. And those refer to the old uh, custom packs, right? TCC rocket packs. And what were those? Those were like nine bucks, right? I think they were nine bucks. Yeah, okay, cool, man. No problem. Yeah, so I owe you nine bucks, and if you want to spend that tonight, that's fine. You just let me know what you want. Okay. I tell you what, we'll get some more PSA slabs up on the table now. People have been asking about those. Well, these two have been up on the table before. We got this Toxtricity. Uh, we got Dragapult. We already got a Dragapult up there. Um, we got this Frost Moth. What was the Frost Moth? Like 220? Hold on, let me look around for something we haven't priced before. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> the PSA 5 Kabutops. Will you ever change Crimson Invasion to spell correctly in the description? Hell no. It's always going to be wrong. <laughs> All right. Oh, I like this Zelda music playing in the background. I'll tattoo your butt cheeks for the Kaput Tops. All right. Accepted. <laughs> You're at homeschool. I'm sorry. I was homeschooled. Honestly, my feelings about it have changed like twice over time. You know what I mean? Like at first I thought it was terrible. Now I'm older and I'm realizing education in, ge in general is terrible. And the fact that I was able to work for my dad and learn how to operate a business rather than being stuck in a public school was a significant advantage for me later in life. So when I was younger, I was homeschooled. Uh, but the homeschooling was garbage. Like, my parents didn't really teach me anything. You know what I mean? Let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm going to place mine at 200, I think, for this. For the... He says, don't you become antisocial if you are homeschooled? Yeah, I think that's kind of a stereotype for homeschoolers. Uh, I didn't become antisocial. I was very social. And I was part of a homeschool group of, like, 500 kids. And there would almost, you would just find some people who are social, some people in the middle, and some people who are antisocial. So it just seemed like normal people to me. But the uh, education itself was very terrible. Turns out your mom's not as good as, a, as like a professor or a trained teacher. So she was really bad. She didn't really teach anything. Wow, this guy's expensive. Really? Yep, that's the cheapest one. And then what about the Kabutops? Um, hmm, there's no price for the Kaboo Tops. Ah, uh, I think for the Kaboo Tops. We're going to ask 70 on the Kaboo Tops. With this guy, he goes for a full 150. What? That's a lot. All right. And Frost Mouse, we're asking 200. Okay. Yeah, homeschooling, gosh, man, the education itself was so bad. Your mom would just toss you a book and be like, here, teach yourself stuff. But really what she had me do is house chores. So I did house chores and I took care of a baby. Because I was from a family of 11 kids, so there was always a new baby. 
And there were so many babies at some point, my mom needed help. So the oldest kids all, all had babies to take care of. Uh, so I had a younger brother, I had to take care of him like 100%. So feeding him, clothing him, changing his diaper, you know, six times a day. Uh, when he's upset or something's gone wrong, I gotta figure out what it is. And, and if I did a bad job, then I would get whipped, see? So I had to take care of a child. And uh, you become really good at taking care of kids, but I didn't learn anything in school. And then we were so poor because there's so many children. My dad ran, he, he worked a full-time job. He was a successful job. He, he was, um, he did a job where he would teach sort of like electrical engineers how to do something called um, instrumentation, I believe. And he would teach them how to fix panels and boards for large manufacturing companies who would order these digital boards. So that was his job. And uh, so he had a good paying job, but it didn't matter because there were so many kids. So he had to start a kind of like a side hustle to pay for everything, like our food and all of our needs. And I ended up working for him and for my uh, for my mom, I took care of the kids and did chores. And what I didn't do is anything in school. So I didn't learn anything in school. And when I left home, I thought that homeschooling was the worst thing ever. You know, I was like, wow, that is terrible. It is basically just a way for a parent to avoid having to send their kids to a school. And then I got older and I finished my college education and I'm like, I, I felt good about the college education while I was in it, but I got out of it and I'm like, wow, this is overpriced garbage. Uh, most of the stuff you learn in college, by the way, you can just learn online or you can just open a book and read this stupid book because that's what you do in college. They You pay a guy to tell you to read a book. That's what college is in a nutshell. And so I got, I got my way through college with a computer science degree and realized most education systems are dumb. They don't really teach you how to get wealthy or how to start a business. They don't teach you how to think of yourself as an asset developer or how to obtain assets in life. And in hindsight, much later in life, I realized I didn't actually need any public schooling at all to graduate uh, from, from college university with a very difficult degree. I didn't need any public education. My mom and dad taught, they didn't even teach me basic algebra and I still graduated. So it turns out you can just learn that stuff later in life and it's not that complicated. You just open a book. And then when it comes to making money, the college actually sapped me of four years of my life. It left me with a good degree, but I imagine myself having gone for something like a, I don't know, like a history degree or psychology degree that doesn't, it just turns me into a middle manager at Walmart. So in the end, what ended up being the most valuable was not being in public school, being outside in the garage, you know, working for my dad. That's where I learned everything that I'm doing today. So I learned how to think in terms of like a, sort of like a businessman very early in life because I wasn't stuck in school like many of you guys. I was out there learning how to sell stuff and how to operate an online business. And it's a way better skill than, you know, the powerhouse of the cell or whatever, whatever you're being told in public school. So what I'm doing here is much more valuable than what you're learning in school right now. And it's much more valuable than many of the things you learn in college too, by the way. You don't learn how to make money in college. You just learn how to be somebody else's employee a lot of the information in college doesn't directly translate to your job anyways. Just a few classes do. So anyways, let's get back to it. That's, that's kind of some big learning I did when I was younger. In hindsight, homeschooling did suck as an educational tool, but just in general education sucks because most people think you need to learn stuff that's not really relevant to getting a job. I don't know why, it's just an adult thing, I guess. Michael Alabiso is done. Right? Yep. And then we move on to Jordan Earl. What's up, Jordan? First order is two shiny stars. Yeah, I wish they'd change the educational system and make it more valuable to people. Two hidden fates, no bag. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go get a case of hidden fates. of a little rant house going on there. Woo! Now my degree sits uselessly on the wall. <laughs> did you get my wrappers? I sure did. 
I saved your wrappers for you, no problem. Places over here. College is good if you select the right major. It's still way overpriced. Like, even if you pick the right major, it's way overpriced. All right, here we go. All the classes they force you to take, mm -mm, you don't even need them. You just need the ones relevant to the job you're going after, just like you've always suspected. Some of you guys are smart enough to suspect that already. It's exactly like you think. Here we go. Ooh. You know, then they upcharge you for like living on campus. It's insane, man. They're like, here, live on campus and do our food meal plan. It's a money-making machine. And the government is going to pay for it, which is me and you. We're going to pay for it through our taxes. It's a huge ripoff. It's a huge ratchet. Literally a government sucking your money away and giving it to a bad, lousy business. Ditto. I wish the government would uh, do that for me, huh? Uh, this is pretty bad. Vocational school is greater than college. Probably it is. What do we got? We got Lieutenant Surge's strategy. And Misty Cerulean City Gym. Sorry about that, mister. You got some cold hidden fates. So that was for Mr. Jordan Earl. No bag. All right, we're getting you a fresh bag, Jordan. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. Education doesn't prepare you for life. It prepares you to be, what is it? To be another employee. <laughs> That's basically it. Jordan Earl. It upsets me a lot. I think I think about it pretty obsessively. I think about it because I'm, you know, I'm just thinking about all that money being flushed away every year. You know, I just recently got out of college, so I'm very familiar with it all, the whole system. Tenzenberg, what's up, Tenzenberg? He says, one wig pack, I have a bag. Sounds good, man. Weedle, all right, so you got some... A custom, not custom, you've got some vintage, common and common. And this one's in really poor condition. I think I just, I grabbed these out of a box very quickly. I kind of saw that. I probably should have thrown this to the side. <laughs> this is in another language. It's definitely PSA 1. Actually, I don't know. I wonder if that washes off. Oh, I didn't think of that. You might be able to wash some of that off. All right. Put this over here. Sweet. I have a friend with a master's in Latino studies and is working minimum wage. It's definitely the degree you go after. All right, so Mr. Tenzenberg. Mr. Tenzenberg, your bag's up here. Pokemons, Pokemons. I think we got two bags for you, here we go. Go to trade school if anything. Henry says it's still overpriced. That's right. Even if you pick out a really smart degree like computer science, they're going to make you take a class where you got to read Shakespeare. They're going to make you take a class on history that you don't need. History is important, by the way, but you can go watch that on, like, the Internet. You can go open a history book. If you're going to school for the investment of your money, it is a poor investment to take a history class. It is. You just don't need it. It doesn't translate to any job except for history-related jobs. So it's like, I, I don't know, maybe if you're getting into, maybe you're going to be a politician, maybe you're going to be like a writer, maybe you're, there's jobs that might be relevant for history. But for computer science, why are they making me take history? Because they know they can squeeze that money out of me. That's how, that's why. They know they, they're going to say, you have to take this. And basically you're just paying our department. That's what you're doing. And I go, okay, because I'm stupid. Gregory Morris says three very hot, hot, hot cuts on the wig packs. I need a new bag and I have a book box. Sounds good, Gregory. Let's see what you got. They know that I'm going to take the class because they tell me I have to. And that's because I'm, I'm a, you know, kind of like a slave to getting that degree, you know, that little piece of paper that says you're better than everyone else. But it turns out everyone's getting the piece of paper, so it's not even that valuable anymore. All right. So we got some common comments. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to toss that in the uh, book. And when you get a new book bag, I'll probably make you a new book bag, like a big fat one. We'll add to it is what I'm saying. Or anyways, you can remind me to. Mr. Gregory, sorry about that. No crazy pulls there. 
Why school doesn't teach you about credit scores? Are you planning on doing anything with computer science or is opening cards back? Operating all of this content creation, game economist, card economist, my TikTok account is far more lucrative and it's way more satisfying. Way, way more satisfying. My wife was talking today about potentially quitting her job and just working with me on this card channel because there's business opportunity with running a card shop and uh, she might do it. She's tempted to. Next up, we have Eric Beltran, six Ultra Prism. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got my AA in engineering back in 2008 when the economy tanked, but it did allow me to apply to a government job, so it did pay off in the end. Nice. Is that an Associates of Arts? An associate's degree might actually make a lot more sense than bachelor degrees these days, especially if you can just get an associate's degree directly in the um, classes that apply to the job you want. You know what I mean? Yeah, two-year. Toss this over here. Mr. Eric. I don't know why everyone believed they had to go to college in the first place. It was just bad advice. I believed you needed that fancy four-year degree to be wealthy. I understand wealth so much better as, uh, at this point in life. And it's bizarre how much college actually keeps you from being wealthy. And uh, they don't explain that to you because they don't, they probably don't benefit from you knowing that it's keeping you poor. They benefit from you pulling out a huge student loan and signing it off to them. So it's not in their interest to teach you, it's not in their interest to teach you how to become wealthy. They don't care about you. They just care about if you're gonna hand over that student loan to them. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how the whole world runs, I guess. I guess you're supposed to have like a mom and dad that know the, these things, know the problems. Mr. Eric, he needs one custom booster. Good luck, Eric Belton. Just join the army, they said. <laughs> Twin energy, to chatat, sweet. Okay, put this over here. Could you maybe pre-grade the Rainbow Rare Leprous so I know if I should grade it? Luca Henry. What's up, Luca Henry? Uh, why don't you put a request for that in uh, PayPal, and I'll I'll get to it when it, uh, when when we get to that message, okay? So, Palkia, for Eric Beltran. Let me go find you, Eric. You're damaged, you do damage, you don't. What? Do you think some people need the core curriculum to enhance their worldview? Some people have no natural curiosity to teach themselves. Huh. That's a good point. Maybe I'm just naturally curious, so I feel like it's not needed because that's my point of view. Um, good question. Good question. I think the problem here is that school is so expensive. I don't understand why it's gotta be so expensive. No, see, I disagree with that. If, if you're not naturally interested in those things, then why are you, why are you paying all that money to go learn it? It just doesn't make sense. So, you know, if you're not interested in learning history, don't learn history. You're going to be a guy who doesn't know history then. And if it turns out life doesn't benefit people who don't know history, uh, that's up to them. You know, that's their problem now. That's sort of like how a free market would work, right? So if you don't take some time and learn how to invest your money, you're going to end up poor. And then you're just poor. You have a bag already. Gosh, why didn't I see it? Hold on. Oh, because you're going to be in the e-box. That's why. Here we are, Eric Beltran. Why am I paying to learn about psychology or music or family matters? All right, put this over here. Sweet. Mr. Eric, your bag's getting pretty large there. We have Ruben. What's up, Ruben? Ruben says, one wig, six bucks to live ship my bag. Sounds good. Let's see what you get. Mr. Ruben, pulling a Vulpix. All right. And let's go find Ruben's bag. Ruben, did you have anything else? You didn't win like a PSA card, did you? I don't see one there. GMAC got the Frost Moth. Ruben. Oh, here we are. All right. I tried to learn Pokemon history, but I flunked out, and that's why I sent for Caterpie. <laughs> Psychology helps in business. Do I have to pay the $5 when it's one card or does it get cheaper? Oh, I didn't explain. Just send me like a two cent message. Yeah, just get yourself in line with that message. That's what I meant. I didn't, I didn't mean send me $5 for pre-grade. 
And uh, the honest question is, you probably should, but I'll do it for free for you this time because you asked. But you know, it's just like one card. That's why I'm doing it for free. It's not a big deal. But let me take care of these guys first because, you know, they've been waiting in line. That's all. Yeah, they've been waiting in line, so they really have to go first. All right, Mr. Ruben. It's kind of like, let's say you're at, you're at a checkout lane and you run forward with one item and you're like, hey, check me out. <laughs> and I go, nope, there's this guy with this huge cart of stuff and he's been waiting. He's got to go first. All right, there we go. Mr. Ruben, let's get you shipped, Ruben. Mr. Ruben, he's got Ruben in the name, and he loves Ruben sandwiches. Man, I'm good at music. I should be a music artist next. I'm going to drop my new album, my Pokey album. Mr. Ruben. All right, let's grab your email. You guys ready for work tomorrow? Whew. It's almost that work week. Almost time to go back. And we'll hit print. I'll be right back. Mister, don't you think when the current surge dies down in Pokemon, it'll be harder to make money long term? These prices aren't sustainable. I hear Pokemon is going to do huge print runs soon, says Henry. Um, that's a great question, Henry. You know, if they do really large print runs, I think you'll see a price drop in the, maybe the modern cards, but we don't know if anything you just said is actually true. It's just speculation at this point. And if Logan Paul is going to do more box breaks, that's actually really good for the hobby. Uh, I think the hobby has probably grown substantially, and there's going to be a lot of guys who stick around and keep doing this. There, there's one thing that's really changed in the hobby that you're, you're maybe underestimating, card grading when you were a little kid and you you open up pokemon cards there was no card grading now that there's card grading it's a little more liquid it's a little more adult and it's a little more standardized and so i think that card trading will be probably a lucrative hobby for a lot of people for a long time but the issue of the possibility of huge print runs for modern cards uh, i could see that being a problem for trying to make money off of modern cards because if they if they overprint it like in insane amounts then it's just going to be this thing where Nintendo makes money, not you. Sustainable, I mean, it's a good question. We'll, we'll have to see, man. I think there will always be some opportunities in a hobby to make a good trade, you know what I mean? Always an opportunity to make a good trade. Pokemon's doing pretty good, too. Pokemon the company, they're fine, man. If they released Diamond Pearl and a Diamond Pearl set of Pokemon cards, that would be awesome. <laughs> you guys should see Kitty. She's sleeping on the couch. You want to see her? <laughs> Look how comfy she is. She knows we're looking at her. Oh my gosh, Kitty. She's just laying on the couch. She's like, the couch is mine. Okay, let's see. I try to give people good advice on like the cards and how you should think about them. Mr. Pajar, what's up, man? He says, hi, Mr. I have a bag. One wig pack, two darkness ablaze. All right. Let's get you started. Two darkness ablaze and one wig pack. Thank you. I knew it was a good deal. I don't even know how much grading or sort of show. What? Where is, where is where the chat at? What? What are we talking about? Zorg, I'm looking at your comments. You have the silver play button? Uh, yes, I have the silver play button from the Game Economist channel. I don't have it for this channel, but it would be cool to get it a second time, huh? <laughs> so if we could break 100,000 subscribers, I will get that play button another time. When I become an accountant, I got you, mister. Woohoo! Counting's a good job, man. All right, let's see. Toxtricity Agron. My advice to you guys would be start a business. 
And you may feel right now like you don't know how to start a business, but there is a way. And you just got to find out what you like to do and where the opportunities are at. And you got to chase that and start a business right away. You'll get wealthy starting a business. You will not get wealthy working on another person's business. That's, that's not fully true. You can get wealthy working on another person's business, but make sure you're climbing that ladder, you know, to higher positions in that business. You know what I mean? So you better be on your way up and picking up more responsibility and a bigger paycheck. Okay, Mr. Pajar, let's get this into your bag. Very good, man. Picking up that hound doom. Here we are. Put play button on the wig packs on them or in them. I'm not going to give that uh, the, the play button away. You know, the play button is actually a bigger accomplishment to me than my freaking college degree is. The college degree sounds cool, but honestly, the play button is actually pretty hard to accomplish. I'm sitting on my current job for security, but working for a business for myself. Sweet. The person who I'm hiring to help me with my bookkeeping, she owns her own business. Uh, is a is a mother and she has two daughters and her daughters work with her so it's like a family business and I'm telling you you'll get rich with a little family business like that you you make a hundred percent of the profits rather than splitting it with like overhead or splitting it with like um, you know your stockholders and they probably live a very nice life they probably live on their own schedules and is is probably very cool that they own it you know what I mean so starting a little business doing something important for society and getting paid well, it's probably really cool. I think a lot of people could start a business. You just gotta have the, uh, you gotta have the motive to do it. It's hard to stay motivated, but you gotta be motivated, guys. Okay, let me just go back, make sure we haven't missed anyone. All right, I think we're good, so let's keep moving forward. Next up, we have Ryan Hutch. Hello, Ryan. How's it going? He says, two Japanese tag team. Two Japanese tag team. Only fans. Hey, you know, some people probably did get rich from Only fans. One Hidden Fates. I don't judge. And live shipping. All right. So, Ryan, I believe you have a large bag up here. Ryan Payne. Oh, you're in the front. Sorry about that. <laughs> Nine out of ten businesses fail or something like that. Uh, yeah, I've heard that a lot of businesses will fail, but I think the trick is to keep trying, basically. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I would say just keep trying, definitely. I see what you're saying. I, I, I still remember actually being at Coca-Cola and there was this manager who told me he was going to start his own business and then he got this comfy job at Coca-Cola and he's like, I have no reason to anymore. So, I, you know, there's that side to it too, but that's why I was saying, if you're going to get a job, make sure you pick a good company and, and start working your way up in that company, you know? So if you get a job at a place like Coca-Cola, just clock in, do a really good job and, and treat the business like it is your business, Coca-Cola. Treat it like you're you're personally responsible for making sure it succeeds. Don't just treat it as this thing you clock in and out of. So, and uh, request uh, to be promoted, right? Look at that, send a scorch. Read the order. Oh, I'm sorry, there was a, um, give me a moment. Here we go. Mr. Alex says, I was always offered a higher position in all my jobs, but I worked next to my boss and they were all stressed and got gray hair, so I said no. <laughs> <laughs> Not ready to move up, huh? Well, your hair get, your hair turns gray either way as you get older. And uh, it's true. Having more responsibility is more stress. But you acclimate yourself to it. You get better at it. So it starts out stressful, but actually is easier over time. And you get paid more. You know, you really got to think about that for a minute. So you ever get jealous somebody has more money than you? Usually they worked more than you. So you just got to think about that too. So if you're happy kind of living a, a life where you don't have many responsibilities but you're poor, you know, that's cool. That's how money's supposed to work. You're supposed to earn as much as you want. Uh, but if you have higher needs, like maybe you want a beach house in California or something like that, you're gonna have to work your tail off. And that means being a little more stressed, but it also means a bigger paycheck. All right. Mr. Lost in a Spiral, that's right. Mr. He asked for tech team, not shiny star. Hey, Mr. Two Japanese tech team. Oh my gosh, did I really do that? My bad. Here, let me place these to the side. 
It's such a simple mistake to make because I placed them next to each other on the on the uh, stacks here. Two Japanese tag teams, no problem. Here goes. Two tag teams. When do you stream? Uh, right now. <laughs> you can make money following your passion, even if it's hard at first. That's right. All right, what do we got? We've got Mel Metal Lucario. Edward, we're live right now, Edward. I stream right now. <laughs> what do we have? We've got, ooh, Septile. When do you stream? All right, place this over here. So that was for Mr. Ryan Hutch. Sorry about that, Ryan. Don't worry, you got the packs you were correctly purchasing. I'll take the hit on the other packs. That's how it works. And let's go ahead and put a little bulk in the front here. Any good pulls yet, says Snow Walrus. Hmm, what are the best pulls we've had tonight so far? You know, I don't think anything really crazy has stood out yet. So we're still going. We'll get something crazy. This is a pre-recorded stream. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Ryan Hutch. Thank you, Ryan, for confirming your address. Let's go ahead and get him a label. Actually, let's see if we've shipped to you before first. Ryan Hutch. We like to talk about business success on this channel because it's a topic that I love. I love talking about that kind of stuff. I like to see people do well. I love the, the whole prosperity, the concept of having everything you need. Love that kind of stuff. It gets you up in the morning. It gets you working. It's kind of like having a good attitude, you know? Good attitude will take you really far in life, actually. Just having a an attitude where you don't quit. An attitude with a lot of energy behind it will get you really far with anything you put your time towards. Then you just need a little bit of education too about what you should be working on, right? Once you have the right attitude. Obviously Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> Did that shock you, kitty? Let's see what's next. Nectaria, what's up, Nectaria? Whoa, that's a big order. He says, hi, could I have the PSA 10 double and live international shipping? The double, huh? Do you have any Abra slabs? Uh, I will in the future, but I don't have any right now. Here it is, Mr. Double. He says, what would be good advice you would give to someone who wants to begin their Pokemon investment business in 2021? Um, do nothing but buy modern sets. I'm just teasing you. Mr. He had two bags. Who, Ryan Hutch did? Super chat, let's see. Hey, mister, I have two bags, says our machine. Oh, okay. Well, we can fix that. Give me a minute. Let's start out by finding your second bag. You must have ordered a lot of cards, man. Two bags. Well, maybe you have a bag down on the table. Got Ricardo, Reynolds... To ask you where your second bag would have been like was it a huge bag was it a small bag did i tell you i was putting it anywhere let's see if it's just up top i doubt it though so we got ryan payne richard stifler ricardo 
Robert Anthony. And then Russ. So I know there's nothing past Russ. Nothing recent. Two bags, he says. Caleb. Emiliano's over here. Eddie Perez. Kelby. Joshua Kelly. Wes Donini. Francis. Chris. Kyle. Alexander Ross. So I'm not seeing a second bag for you. Are you sure I didn't combine them? Let's keep looking. Sorry, guys. We'll figure this out. Hmm. Reynold, Rateb, Ryan Pieta, Roberto, Robert, Ryan, Poke Kobe, Rodriguez, Ryan, Robert Lee, Rand, Raul, Robert, Paulson, Papa's in the house, Ramiro, Riley Hill, Pavlos, Ryan. All right, so I'm not seeing a second bag for you uh, on the table, and I'm not seeing a second bag for you up top. Can you give me any information on this second bag? You work on that. The box I already have packed up for you will go out. Um, and we'll see if we can find another bag for you soon. I don't remember there being a second bag for you. So weird. I'll check one more time. Robert Anthony. Russ. RNEF. So it's definitely not in here if you have a second bag. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so we're moving on to Nectaria. Let's get Nectaria taken care of while we're thinking about this. I want to hold the stream up. Are you sure it's not possible I combined the bags already? Might have already combined them. All right, Nectaria, you got a nice little bag here. And we'll double bag this and then triple bag it so live shipping huh live international shipping that's a little trickier so nectaria what i need from you is i need a discord message let's see i you know this is so frustrating because i never know what you're I never know what your Discord names are because you guys always pick a different Discord name. <laughs> so Nectario, I can't live ship. I cannot live ship you unless I have access to your Discord messages. So I need you to private message me on Discord, and then I need to be able to see. Um, basically, I need to be able to see what your address is, all spelt out in the little international form. Okay, but we gotta make sure that we ship it correctly. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and put your bag in this bag. I wonder if I could just ship it with pay PayPal. I'll set this back here. Let me go look at PayPal real fast. PayPal gives you an option. Wait, did he just message me? He just messaged me. Okay. All right. So I can see you didn't fill this form out. All right. So I'm going to let you fill that form out. And while you're doing that, I'm going to move on to the next person. Okay. All right. So Ryan Hutch says, I should have two bags on, in PayPal, but we didn't find two bags for you, Ryan. Derek Withrow, he says, five Crimson, three Rebel, two Tag Team Japanese. I have a bag. So Ryan's saying he has two bags, huh? Uh, are we very, wait, is it in here maybe? Let's see if it's in here. No, just Robin. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Set this here. So five packs of Crimson, three packs of Rebel. Toss this over here. Wow, is it just me or did all the messages disappear? Hold on. Oh, I was stuck on Super Chat. I'm sorry. I was stuck on Super Chat. I wasn't seeing any messages. Hold on. Let me just go through and see if he was saying anything. He says, it's okay. Thank you, mister. Okay, cool. 
I was on super chat mode, so I wasn't seeing any of your messages for a while. Sorry about that, guys. I was like, wow, it's pretty quiet in here. By the way, you guys want to try that voice channel out again tonight? Let's try that voice channel out again. I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to jump over to the Discord. And I'm going to jump into the text-to-speech channel if you guys want to say hi. I got my volume up. Okay. So while that's on, I'm going to go ahead and grab three Rebel Clash. And two Japanese Tag Team. Which I need to get fresh ones. How much for ETB sleeves? Uh, I don't know if I have any remaining. A guy bought a hundred of them, and I need to ship that out first. Made an order, address sent, and a separate two cent message. Sounds good. You really only have to share your address in the message if you're live shipping, though, just to let you know. All right, here we go. Mister, I sent the Discord message. Message. Time to have. Time to have to mod text to speech. Says Mahasvara. Sleep. Actually, I don't think a lot of people understand how it works, so it's been pretty decent. I bought a booster box of Rebel Clash last month for $100. Nice, man. Sneep. Sneep. So, Crimson Invasion. We are finally back to the pack opening. Toss this here. Oops. Good luck, Mr. Derek. Picking up Melodic. We've got Grumpig. Ooh, Guzzlord Full Art. Take a look at that. Registeel. Whoops. We have a Lone Executor. Galarian Meowth. Bosses orders. Nice dude. Woo! That's a hot card in Rebel Clash. Bosses orders. Beautiful. That's the boss of Team Rocket, Mr. Giovanni. What do we have here? Oh no. The Blastoise fell out. I'm sorry, man. I hope he's okay. Let's take a quick look at him. Yeah, he looks he looks perfectly fine. He's okay. I'd have maybe I'd have gotten you another one if he looked like he took any damage. PSA 1 now, that's right. The cards are very hardy, actually. Believe it or not, Pokemon cards are very hardy. So he's okay. I looked him over. <gasps> and it doesn't even matter because you just pulled a golden card, dude. Oh, my God. What the hell? That's crazy. I was not expecting that. Beautiful, man. Woo! That's the hottest card of tonight so far. Jesus. <laughs> beautiful who was that again that was for mr derek withrow damn dude you continue to be very lucky picking out one of the golden cards mr derek toss this over here he says everything matters what so let's find your bag wow you've gotten very lucky on this channel i don't know why you're so lucky must be because you have must be because you have the right name. That's probably just it. <laughs> Mr. Derek Withrow. That's the card people want. Are you up top? Yes, you are. How much is that gold card worth? I don't know. That's a good question. It's not worth like an infinite amount of money, but that's kind of like the chase card. The golden cards are like the hit cards of this set, right? So let me grab this real fast. I sent the Discord message for the live shipping. Sounds good. Sweet. Wow, that's really lucky, man. We'll place that right there. So that's the best card of the night. And this D box up here is kind of full. Damon Sims. Man, we got some really large people with D in the name here. Really large bags for people with D in the name. 
tell you what, Damon, I'll set you to the side, actually. Did I say Damon? I, I meant Derek. All right, so Derek Withrow, your bag's in the overflow now. And we're going to go finish the shipping for Nectario? Right, Nectario. All right, thank you so much for that. Let's go ahead and start getting your international shipping put together. And it looks like the first thing I'm going to have to do is reset my software, actually. So bear with me. Software is so weird. It doesn't let you... Um, you have to update the the date for when international ship packages are going out. And it only lets you update for the like next three days. And then after three days, you have to reset the software. I think it has something to do with like making sure that the prices are up to date in the software. It's a janky piece of software, but it's so weird because it's like... It's slightly cheaper than using the actual websites of these companies, these shipping companies. So strange. you think it would just be cheapest on their own website. Wow, you guys want to see this a little bit closer? Take a look at this. Very lucky. That's a money-making card. Beautiful. All right, we're logging back in. There it goes. Jumping over to international. And now we're gonna start filling this out line by line. So. Don't mind me if I'm a little quiet, guys. I'm making an international shipping label. We're shipping Mr. Nectaria's package off to Australia. Woohoo! Hey, we'll grab this real fast. Almost done. There's a lot of information you fill out. It's like all these forms and stuff. Okay, and your package is probably over the eight ounce mark, which is gonna make it real expensive. All right, hold on. Let me weigh this with my hand. Oh, man. It's so close. We're going to claim it's eight ounces, and I hope they accept that. All right. That's trading cards. And we're going to say it has a value of $25. What? And now we're printing it. Here goes. Due to changes in the way rates are calculated, you will need to update the latest versions of the stamp software to continue printing this label. Oh, no. All right, mister. It sounds like we're going to... Probably your address got saved in my software. We're going to have to save your shipping for after the live stream. They're telling me I need to update my software to be allowed to ship you. So I apologize for that. We're very close to shipping you. Sorry for everyone getting bored waiting. I can't do international labels right now until I update my software. All right. So I've got you saved as one of my things to do. And we're going to jump to the next person in the order now. So let's see. We finished Derek Withrow, who just pulled this beautiful golden card. Probably the best pull of the night. And now we have Mario Lopez. Mario says, first time ordering, I would like two wigged packs, two hidden fates, two roaring skies. All right, let me get two roaring skies real fast. Actually, let me start with the hidden fates. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get your we'll get your cards shipped out 
Mailman's not picking up till tomorrow morning, right? And, or, well, technically till this morning. And so we have some time to figure that out. I got to update that software, apparently. Two hidden fates, two roaring skies. Okay, let's get the roaring skies. I already did the hard part of filling out your address, and I'm sure it'll save that address. And then the two wig packs. Again, this is for Mario Lopez. Picking up Raichu on pack number one. And Eldegoss on pack number two. All right. Mister. Ooh. Sneep. Can you make me a bag? I'm trying to get some on my other phone. What? I have no idea what you're saying. Toss this over here. You ready? Pack number one. We've got Quagsire. Ooh, Quagsire. Shiny Quagsire. And pack number two. We've got Psyduck. Now for the Roaring Skies. Okay, this Natu looks cool. Natu. And then we've got Cascoon and Unpheasant. And the next pack we have... Oh, nice, dude. Reverse Hollows at Grom and some kind of golden trainer card called the Versus Seeker. Huh. So that's a full art. It's very nice. It's too bad it wasn't at Pokemons, but, you know, you take what you can get, right? I'll go ahead and sleeve this up. He says, ooh, gold. <laughs> That's right. Place this over here. Very good. He said this is his first time ordering, right? Guess we'll put the Versus Seeker in the front, the front for Mr. Mario Lopez. I'm trying to buy some packs, but can you make me a bag? Uh, I don't make the bag until the packs are open, so it's really simple. Mr. Mario Lopez. There you go. Woohoo, it's me, Mario. We'll place your bag over there. Wahoo! <laughs> Chris T for the Aerodactyl and live shipping. Whoa. Oh, that's a big order. Okay, so he just ordered the Aerodactyl. And Chris T wants some live shipping. Very good, let's find your bag. So, I must have moved your bag up here by now. Yep, there's Chris T. Chris T, did you need a new bag? I guess he did. Okay. Very cool, Chris. I'll send this Aerodactyl out right now. Should be able to print it very quickly. Hopefully it allows me to ship regular domestic labels still. Otherwise, we might be updating this software live. If it doesn't let me print this label, I'm gonna do the update live, because we can't have that. Oh, okay, domestic labels still work, cool. I'll be right back. kind of cheaply priced i mean it's a first edition card you think it is a hundred dollars just as a raw card so i thought that was kind of a low price next up we have kai conrad 
Hello, Kai. He says, two custom packs. I already have a bag. Good luck, Mr. Kai. Let's see what he gets. Pack number one. Oh! PSA 10, number 196. And Blaine's Arcanine with the round of vintage, cust uh, vintage common uncommon. I always call them customs. I don't know why. It's because I'm crazy. So that's pretty lovely. Let's see what you got. Number 169, what's that? Is it this one? Ooh. Hitting that PSA 10 card in the customs. Congratulations. So we put your name on the back. You can get this shipped out tonight if you want. If you want to do the uh, live shipping. There we go. Take a look at the live shipping in the description. I'll place you to the side for now. Otherwise, there's the free shipping, but... Uh, I gotta warn you, there's a, a long wait time right now, unfortunately. So, Kai. Right, you have a bag over here. I'm gonna try and catch up on that line, though, tonight. So we'll try to catch up a bit. Now we have Alex Trailer, who wants four Darkness Ablaze. One, two, three, four. Mr. Alex. Snip. Alex Trailer. He says, damn, long wait. Maybe a long wait. We've got Whale Lord Whalmer. Ninjask. Zerora. Oh man, these are cold. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Perfectly cold round. Mr. Alex Trailer, no luck this time. Wrong packs. Cold packs for me. All right, we're going to need to go a little bit slower, don't you guys think? Going faster is causing me to grab the wrong packs. I mix up Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage all the time. I'm thinking of putting them on opposite sides of each other. All right, we'll try again. No problem. Hey, maybe we get some hotter cards this time. That's a stroke of good luck. Let's see. We got Vanillite. Yeah, we can't keep making that mistake. That's costing us money. <laughs> we got a Butterfly V. Butterfree. Did I say Butterfly V? Butterfree V. Okay, Ursary. We got Centret. And is 20 gram Team Rocket Pack heavy? Uh, the Team Rocket Packs, you can't really determine if they're heavy or not because they're, they're one of the vintage sets where... You don't actually know if a heavy pack's heavy, or at least you know if a pack's really light, it's a light pack, but the heavy packs could actually still be light. So, hope that helps. Here you go, Alex. Basically, if you're buying one pack from a stranger, it's probably a light pack, even if they claim it's heavy. You're just going to pay the heavy price on it. Mr. James Longoria. What's up, James? He says two Shining Star packs and one custom pack. All right, two Shining Star. We need a new Shining Star box. We are very, very low on Shining Star. Just letting you guys know. Okay, two Shining Star. He says, uh-oh. Yeah, I know, right? Buying still open? Yeah, for at least another 30 minutes. Here we go, Mr. James Longoria. He needs a new bag. Okay, you got an unimportant code card, but how about shinies? Well, this is a cold pack. You got double. Pack number two. Do you have any vintage for sale? Yeah, they've gotten real pricey, though. You can buy a vintage from me if you really want to. But they'll probably be closer to $300 at this point. All right, we'll put this up here. Sweet! So that's for Mr. James Longoria. What if you already sent money and you run out of packs? Uh, I refund people. So if, if there's if you've already paid for the packs, but we're out, I just refund the money. It's very uncomplicated. James Longoria. I go, oops, whoopsie daisy. And then I just keep all the money. That's what I do. <laughs> I substitute it for Rebel Clash. <laughs> I know you wanted Roaring Skies, but we're gonna have to give you we're gonna have to give you Rebel Clash. Didn't get the custom booster pack. You're so right, right. I apologize. All right, the custom booster is Gyarados. Sorry about that, Mister. I remember your message. 
but only in hindsight. <laughs> only after you told me. Wait a second, what about my custom booster? All right. I should do the custom packs always at the very beginning, just as a rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh the page now. I'll jump over here to home. Substitutes for Steam Siege, exactly. Oh, excuse me. Such a bubbly drink. Steam Siege is actually pricey, says CGS. GCS is GCS. Okay, where were we? There's James Longoria. And next we have Santos Ayala. He says, for the Tyranitar, plus I have a Dark Charizard slab, plus bag ship them out, please. And thank you. I think he means live ship them. Is that what you mean? So let's see. Wow. I almost wonder if I should have sold this because this is a really beautiful card. I'm a little bit jelly. It's one of my favorite cards, favorite artworks. So this is for Santos Ayola, and I'm gonna go ahead and get you a label made. I think we've shipped to you before. Yep. All right. Wait a second. What does he say here? Let me make sure I understand this. Oh, you have a dark charger slab and a bag. Let's go find your bag. Santos Ayola, a bag from long, long ago. Stone Cold, side effects. You like old e reader cards. Sub Smash, he's got a large bag in there. Shinzu, Stadre, Simple. Mr. Santos. Okay, so I can tell you you're not up here. Let's check in here then. Steven Dima, Spine, Sean. Samuel Chavez, Sergio. Stacy. Dark's assassin. Wow, we haven't seen. I haven't heard from him in a while. So there you go, Santos. We found your little bag. Sweet. Okay, and let me go find that dark Charizard too. Actually, let me get this label printed now. Now that I have a better idea what this is gonna weigh. Okay, the label's made up. And we'll grab this. So you got dark Charizard slab. Let's go find him. That's a fancy card. Sure you didn't want to just donate them to me? I mean, I'll take donations. Dark Charizard, kitty. There he is. I found him. All right. PSA 8 Dark Charizard. He's a Charizard. Get another bag of this. And then we'll get one more bag for both of these PSA slabs to be held together. Kitty, I'm shipping out his beautiful, beautiful PSA slabs. What do you think of that, Kitty? Kitty, you're just laying around sleeping, aren't you? We're going to have to put Kitty to work, I think. All right, give me a moment. I'm going to look for something to put these in. Some kind of uh, padding. Here, this will work. Mr. Santos, he's all live shit. Your cards are shipped, Santos. Oof. Mr. Santos. Now we have, hey, it's Snorlax. What's up, man? He says, one pack of Shiny Star V. I need a new bag. Sounds good. 
Mr. Snorlax V. How's it going, mister? Sneep. Toss this over here. All right, here goes. Moltres, what? Oh, look at that, Shiny Thievil. That's a decent pack, actually. I don't see that card very often. You wanna see him up close? He's got a little mustache. Mr. Mustachio. Okay, we'll put that in there. And we'll sleeve this one up as well. Sweet. And then let's see, new bag, right? Is that what he said? New bag. That's right, ooh. Mr. Dave. All right, there we go. No problem, man. Let's see, where are we gonna put this? Is the D-Box full? Nope, we got room. And now we have Mr. John Paul Perez. He says, for the Kabutops, the Kabutops is sold. Pope John Paul Perez. Very cool. Luca Henry says, could you pre-grade my Rainbow Rare Lapras? Luca Henry with an L. Got to be over here. No, I think you're actually up on this box. That's what I think. Nope, apparently not. I was wrong. Okay, go back here. Oh, here we are. Did you say you're Lapras? You have a Salamence. Maybe you meant Salamence. My Rainbow Rare Lapras, Luca Henry. He had to have been Salamence. <laughs> so the Salamence, taking a quick look. He's off center. So he's fat on the left and the bottom and then thin on the top and the right. All right. He probably have a chance at a good nine, strong nine. All right. There you go. Sweet. Luca Henry. Okay, now we have Jeffrey McLeary. Two high-risk boosters, two shiny star V Japanese, and live shipping. I'd like to keep all my bulk, please and thank you. No problem, Jeffrey. So let's get those two shining star. And two high-risk custom booster packs. Mr. Jeffrey McCleary, do you have any other things I need to know about? Like, do you have another bag? Do you have a PSA card? Let me know. Make sure we get all your stuff. So the first custom booster is a pack of hollows. The second pack is... Oh, nice. Here we go. PSA 9 metal. Oh, okay. So you end up with kind of a lesser pull, which is why we found it so quickly. Is it even over here? <laughs> I might not even put it over here. I don't think it's over here. Oh, there it is. So you end up with this card here. It is a vintage card. This is PSA 9 Neo Genesis Metal Energy. He says, I don't have a bag. No problem. A pole's a pole. Here you go, Jeffrey. I don't need to write your name on it because we're shipping you right after this. I'll give you 155 for the Moltres. Uh, I could do 183 right now. Sneep. Unfortunately, when it comes to my PSA cards, I don't really have to lower their price because they sell so fast. So I generally don't lower the price. Maybe if it was a really expensive card, I'd consider it. Maybe. Oh, look at this. Shiny so uh Wait, not Sobble. I don't remember. I don't know this guy's name. And then Amazing Rare Kai Ogre. Sweet. And was that Pikachu back there? Damn, that's Pikachu on the code card. That's pretty good, man. That's a hot pack. Beautiful. The demand for the PSA cards is too high, is what I'm saying. So if the demand was really low, I probably would lower the price. But it doesn't really make sense to lower the price when they're pretty much just selling out. Drizzle, thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got here. Phalanx. All right, you got one Phalanx on the other one. Sweet. Time to get you shipped, mister. Amazing Rare Kyogre, I'm shaking. You're a big fan of Amazing Rare Kyogre? All right. 
So, Mr. Jeffrey, have we shipped you before? Maybe we've shipped you before. I noticed you didn't leave your address in the message. There we go. Uh uh. <laughs> Trying to tip over. I don't think so. Not on my watch, Mr. Bag. Separate message with address. Perfect. Well, I'm going to check and see if we've ever shipped you before to start out. Nope. Looks like we have not. Oh, here it is. I see the message. Oh, here it is. I see it. Very good. And let me just go ahead and fill this in real fast. Making labels. I'm making sweet baby labels. Okay, I'll run over here. And we'll hit print. You might want to update your PayPal address because in your PayPal address it's kind of listed weird. It's not listed like it would be on a on a stamp or on a letter. Yeah, you might want to update it to look standardized. All right, Kitty, I'm gonna need some of this again. We got some bubble wrap. Sweet! Kitty, I love bubble wrap. Kitty loves bubble wrap too. She just won't admit it. Kitty, why are you so to Sunday? I think Kitty's a bad guy, Kitty. Now there's always bad guys who got like cats and stuff like that. I think she's one of those cats. That's why she's all like this white fluffy cat. She's like Dr. Evil's cat. All right, Jeffrey, you are live shipped. Let's see who's next. Brian Boltianski. What's up, Brian? He says, one wigged pack. Ah, oh, man, Brian. <laughs> Brian, you ordered right after him, which means it's probably cold. Yeah, it's cold. Fly gone. Oops. Mr. Brian. Mr. I might have two bags, says Simple7. What's up, Simple7? Are you Brian Boltianski? Can you check if there's also a bag under Simple7? Yeah, let's go looking for Simple7. Stone Cold Killer, Side FX, Silverlight, Sub Smash, Shinzu, Stadre, Simple. Spick and Span, Stephen Conrad, Shadow, Sneaky Sub, Shabby Daggers, Sam H, and C Shanti. So you will most likely have a second bag in that box I just showed you, but it's possible that there's still a nickname card in this box. It's unlikely, but it's possible. Samuel Chavez, Squid Pokemon, Simeon, Stacy, Strictly Green, Stark's Assassin, Shine Ben Haven. Shang Dang, Snow Walrus, whoa, Snow Walrus, huh? And Scott something. So I don't think you have a second bag. If you do, it would have to be like a really large bag and it's in one of the large boxes. But I, I don't remember a simple seven being in those. Let's see who's next. Mr. Alan Tan, hello. Oh wait, do we actually service Brian? Yeah. Mr. Alan Tan, he says two hibs, three tag team. All right, two hibs and three tag team. Here we are. One, two, three. Mister, you said simple in the first box. Did I really? What, in here? You're saying I said his name in this box? Hold on. Shine, stone, side effects, silver light, sub smash, sh Shinzu, Stadre, 
Oh, you don't understand. This is a different guy named Sim Pole. Do you see that? So it's not the same name. That's not the same as Simple Seven. <laughs> My bad. I can see how that's confusing, though. <laughs> he says, I see. Sim Pole. All right, here we go. Neep. Yeah, it sounds the same, but it's spelled different. I didn't even think about it that way. Snip. Good catch, though. All right, here we go. Mr. Alan Tan. Are you ready, Alan, to pull the hottest cards of your life? Here's Pikachu's Ekrom. And next pack. We've got Keldeo. Just a well-paid bag, man. That's right. <laughs> what? And last pack, you got the Mew there. Cool. Is the Moltres 8? It's an 8. That's PSA 8, Blaine's Moltres. Wait, you can't see it from back there? Can you zoom in on your screen? Maybe you can't zoom in. We've got Reverse Hollow Eevee and Pinsir. Okay. I'm going to grab this Eevee. Last pack, you ready? Come on. Ah, oh, man, it's just Golem. Woo! Hidden Fates strikes again. Gotta love Hidden Fates. Loving it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. bum 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kill me, dude. Mr. Allen. Oops. I've seen Hidden Fates destroy many people's lives. Mister, I just placed an order. I didn't see Tag Team on the menu. Thought you were sold out. No, we still have some. We're just running low. All right, Alan Tan. Place you in here. Oh, those bags are reflecting the light. Try and fix that. There we go. Kelby, what's up, Kelby? Long time no see. Hey, Kelby, by the way, uh, you are eligible for $1 live shipping. So if you want your... A very large bag to go out is just a dollar for live shipping. That's up to you. Maybe you want to keep it on the table because you got some cards you want to grade, but it will be very cheap to live ship it. So he wants one Tag Team All-Star and one Rigged Pack. One Tag Team All-Star and one Rigged Pack. Let's get that All-Star from down here. Actually, I think I'm going to make it $2 for the fat bags because $1 is just me paying PayPal fees at that point. Woo! Pulling the Full Art Lunala. That's actually not bad. Wow, that's a good cold pull. All right. Sneep. Oops. Tag Team All-Stars. What do we got? Oh, very good, mister. That's a hot pack. So your pack contained both the Charizard and a Psychic Full Art Energy. That's great. That's some good luck for you tonight. All right, now, Mr. Kelby, you got a large bag. <laughs> Take this. We'll place it over here. And Kelby is located back here, I think, right? Yeah. Mr. Kelby. Somehow the name got rotated to the side of the bag. Mr. Calberson. Just write your name on the front. There we go. There we go. And Jonas Rosado. What's up, Jonas? He says, I have a book box three, Japanese tag team. Mr. Jonas picking up all the tag team. One extra pack here. Mr. Jonas. People love in the tag team. Do you have any eights? Goldfish. All right, here we go. Giratina. Oh, Septile. Place that here. Pack number two. We've got Buzzwool. Sorry, mister. Picking up the Buzzwool. You sank my battleship. <laughs> Do I respect the conic? What? I don't know what that means. Probably an inside joke or a, a reference. Sweet. 
Mister, I respect no one and nothing. Okay, and that was for Mr. Jonas Rosado. Jonas, didn't you have a really large bag? I don't remember. Wait, did I say I need a new bag? I have a bulk box, he says. Oops, hold on, let's grab this for your bulk box. All right. Jonas, I feel like you're in the overflow box. Yeah, you are, I see you. Mister, have you ever sneezed and farted at the same time? That's a great question. I don't think I ever have. It's very peculiar. All right, we're gonna have to end up starting you a new bag because this is just too large. <laughs> I think we are gonna start you a new bag. Okay, Jonas, you're gonna get a new bag after this. Mr. Kai Conrad, what's up? He says, live shipping. You got it, Mr. Mr. Kai. Kai, did you put your address in that? So, oh, man, everyone struggles with this. Um, when you order live shipping, you gotta put your current shipping address in a message so that I don't accidentally ship it to an older address that you might have saved on PayPal, okay? He says, send on Discord. No problem, mister, you're new, so you're still learning. Gotta be a way to get people to do it, even if they're new. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Did you did you have a PSA card for me to ship? You no, that's Johnny. I feel like you did. Yes, you did. You just ordered this, right? All right. Sweet. Lay stream for the soul. Lay stream for the pokey soul. People don't update PayPal address. That's correct. People will leave an old PayPal address as their current shipping address. And this is why we require people to actually message me their their current address so that we never run into that problem. Because I, I don't want to take these $100, $200 cards and ship them to like an old address of yours. That would be terrible. Okay. Stopping orders? Nope. You guys got another 10 minutes to make orders if you want to jump in. No problem. Hey, you're in Hawaii. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and get this ship to Hawaii then. And you even got your email. Perfect. There we go. Mister, I made a second order. I am Mario. Please come by in the back. Sounds good, Mario. We always do that. your turn to do the streaming. Oh. All right, here goes. I have to refresh now. Very good. So we're doing pretty good. I don't think you guys are having a long wait time at all. I think we're having very short wait times. Next up, we have Jordan Earl. Hello, Jordan. He says, second of the night, custom pack, and one more shiny star. So Mr. Jordan... Okay, we've got a shiny star and another wig pack, huh? Pulling Gyarados. Ah, oh, man. Freaking Gyarados. Toss it over there. Sneep. Place this over here. 
Hey, if I were to buy a Mega Swampert Premium Collection box, what is your estimate price I would pay? $2. Ta-da! Man, I'm good at card appraisal. Look at that, Lapras VMAX. Okay, place that right there. I give the best advice on prices. <laughs> Mr. Jordan, here's your bag. We're gonna go ahead and put your hits in your bag. He says, like the whole box with 10 packs is sealed. Wow, that's really nice, man. Mr. Mario Lopez. Wow, he's got a large order. He says, snipe, two wigged packs, two vivid voltage, two hidden fates. All right, two vivid voltage. Two hidden fates. Looks like I got one hidden fates. Give me a minute. I gotta go grab more hidden fates. All right. He says, thanks, TCC, no problem. Sniper, no sniping. Oops, my bad. All right, Hidden Fates. And he wants two wig packs along with the rest of the order. Let's see what you get in the wig packs. Pack number one is a Reverse Hollow Onyx from Evolutions. And pack number two, oh my lord. Twelve, Darkness Ablaze. In fact, mister, you did snipe. How about that? All right, did it say 12? I think it said 12. That's because the price on Darkness went up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Snipe! Places over here. Snipe! All right, you ready? Snipe! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice big group of Poke Packs. Snipe! What other vintage seal products do you have, or just booster boxes? So close to the hot pools, haha, ha, have a good night. Man, people are always asking me about vintage. All right, toss this over here. Here it goes. We got Tapu Coco. All right, here we go. Piers, oh my lord, you pulled Piers. Big hot pull. We've got more, more lol. What is he, just a mushroom? We got Mary. Oh, man. <laughs> when a card falls down like this, it's so annoying. It's just a hollow card. I don't care. There we go. All right. Mary. We got Salamans V. Beautiful. Here's Dartrix. Trap Inch. I'm just a mushroom. Mister, you better not. We're about to fight. <laughs> Darkrai. Rose Tower. Turbo Patch. It's almost as good as Turbo Tax. Oh, man. Hollow Suicune. That's basically a hit. Oh, but it's an off-center Suicune. I'm sorry. That sucks. Now we got Vivid Voltage. Mudsdale. Oh, man, you're getting a lot of hollows. Not Oh, there we go. Hot, dude. Full, uh, not full art. Amazing rare, Rayquaza and Steelix together. Beautiful. Right at the end, huh? Now about these Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates pulling. Ah, oh, nice. Full art, shiny Reshiram. We pulled like three of these recently. Last but not least, shiny Gabite. Wow, those were hot as hell. Woo! Okay, we'll toss this up here. Holy schmoly's, man, that's a lot. Mister, I bet you were one of those kids that put a Charizard on your bike wheel. That's right. <laughs> I put first edition Charizard on my bike wheel so it would go brrrr like that. Just wanted that noise, that sound effect. That little brrrr brrrr. I was like, it's just a Charizard. Got bite. Dude, that would be a funny video for someone to make. That would probably go viral. 
I'll pay 400 for that gigabyte. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. All this for Mr. Mario. Congratulations, Mario Lopez. Here's your bag. Let's put this in here. Mister, thanks. That is me. All right. Pokey Kane Ono, he says, I want my Biden Bucks. Mom! <laughs> Mr. Mahasvara says, two more custom booster packs. Oh, my gosh, Mahasvara. Probably the worst timing. The other guy just pulled a hit. <laughs> it's always a much lower chance for a hit right after somebody's already pulled one. All right. Sorry about that, Mahasvara. Woo! 400 USD. What? I'm surprised those amazing rares are worth 20 raw. Bro. So, Mr. Maha, jump up here. I just got Charizard on Hidden Fates. Think I should grade it, brother. Um, you should just sell him on f Facebook. Next up, we have Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Andrew says, one wig pack. Need a new bag. Did he say need a new bag? Yes, he did. Mr. Andrew Edward pulling reverse hollow poly swag. Reverse hollow poly swag. All right, we're officially at 160 minutes. You guys can put in the last order if you want, but we're wrapping up on orders now. So Andrew Edward. Let's see, does he have any? Oh, he said he needed a new bag. Wow, starting humble with the little polywag. I want original Pokemon gummies back. Those those vitamin gummies fighting off COVID, man. Ah, I think my back's starting to hurt. Andrew Edward. Man, I probably need a new chair. I bet this chair doesn't support my back properly. Now we have Kyle Brager. What's up, Kyle? He says, for Shiny Star and live shipping, I need a new bag. All right. Thank you so much. I'm now going to mark the Shiny Star as sold out. Well, let me see. Hold on. All right. I'll probably sell like one or two more. Then I'll mark it sold out. Okay, here we go. I don't know. Maybe I just mark it sold out right now, actually. It's 1027 a.m. in Switzerland. In Switzerland. You're in Switzerland? How's Switzerland? Is it a nice place to live? I'm going to Switzerland. I hear it's expensive out there. So that's Zapdos. Zation V. Is that that there? I'll try scooching the chair in more. I don't think that helps. We got Pikachu. Man, it's hard to pull the Charizard out of this set. Out of this set. Okay, we got Bunnel B. I live in Bern, Switzerland. All right, I'm headed right over for vacation. I want to see the mountains, man. Dude, those mountains are breathtaking. Put this over here. You just ordered a wig pack. Ooh, what are you pulling? Toxtricity, beautiful. All right, that's Toxtricity Hyper. He says, no, come to Austria. Man, actually, the two places that are on my list that I'm still thinking about moving to if I move internationally are those two places, Austria and Switzerland. What do we have here? Inteleon. There's Dracovish and Eldegoss. Okay, put this over here. And we'll put this over there as well. Sweet. How do I find a store that is not sold out? I live in Texas. I've been looking since Thanksgiving or earlier. Uh, there is just no way to find a non-sold out. You just have to like show up when the store is opening or closing or something like that. Whenever they stock their cards, I guess. It is possible to run into the person who's currently stocking the cards. Wait a second. He ordered live shipping. And live shipping. Okay, let's give you some live shipping common and commons here. Hey, mister, things have been sucking lately, and I've been in a pretty dark spot for a while, but your streams really make me happy. I love watching you open packs. I hate to hear that, man. Um, yeah, man, that's just how life is, isn't it? Life's always changing, and there's always some conflict. There's always some problem. So, yeah, if you get through it, though, life will get better. That's typically how it goes. All right, let's go ahead and pack these up. Hidden Fates pack for you. All right. Oh, thanks, man. I'll open a pack of Hidden Fates. Let's see. Let's see what we get. One pack of Hibs. Oops, I grabbed two of them. Let me put this one back up. Let's see. Instant Cherizard. You ready? He says it's for me. Here comes Cherizard. 
and it is Altaria Gyarados. Sweet. Wow, thanks, man. It's a pretty card. I'll place that over there. Woohoo! Now I'm pokey rich. Don't tell my wife. She'll she'll want half of them. <laughs> okay. What was I doing? We were live shipping this. Thank you so much for that donation. Let's get Kyle Brager shipped. Kyle Brager, the man pulling all the Pokemans. You're welcome, brother. Keep up the awesome job. Sweet. All right. We'll go ahead and print this. Do it. All right, I'm going to jump over to the other table. Now, how should I ship this? Actually, I think we can ship this in one of these little boxes. Ugh. Grab this, put this on top. Definitely feels like the night's winding down. shipped. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Whew. Another night. So after Kyle, we have Mr. Kelby. Hello, Kelby. He says, one tag team all-star, one rigged pack. I threw on two extra bucks for the shipping. Also won a huge bulk in a rigged pack. How you want to do the shipping on that? Did you? Interesting. So, Kelby. That's great. Here it is. Wait, that's your shelf box. Did you win one? If you won one, there would be a, uh, there'd be a card in here. Are you sure you didn't sell it back to me? Prom guy, Saul, Ryan Hutch, Ryan Hutch, Joey, Ho Michael, Kyle Breger, Mike Spanos, K's Forever, Toxic Kabuto, Tammy Lowe. Oh, here we are. We found you. There we go. Sweet. Yes, you did. That was all I needed. So we'll get this shipped out. I'll probably put it together with the book on the table tonight. Um, we'll have to get this shipped out. Let me take this on the overhead so I have to look at it. All right. Just another one of those things I got to do. <laughs> so Tag Team All-Star. Oh, no. Oh, we got one right here, don't we? So Tag Team All-Star. One wig pack. Gyarados, all right, Gyarados. Put this over here. So he says, I want a huge bulk box. So Mr. Kelby, let's grab your bag. We'll get the bulk box shipped out separately. That's how that'll work. I have a bulk ETB. I don't know what to do with it, says Eric B. <laughs> so many Gyarados. That's the truth. And it'll, it'll keep being that way because I've got it. Like I've got like a hundred more of them. So there's a lot of Gyarados in the uh, the wig packs. I try to kind of like mix it up with other stuff, but I just don't have as much of the other stuff. That's really how it is. Give Calby one hidden fates, brother. Okay, so well, hold on. Here's the deal with the super chat. Super chat actually twenty. I'm sorry, thirty percent of the super chat actually goes to YouTube. So you haven't truly ordered a uh, hidden fates pack. You've ordered two-thirds of a Hidden Fates pack, so I can't do that this time. The first time you did it, I just ended up opening the pack for myself because, you know, it's whatever. But I can't have you buying packs for people on Super Chat because you're only paying two-thirds of the price. Also, it's just not a it's not a very good way to do it. You gotta learn how to do it on PayPal, okay? 
So if you want, if you if you want to send like four more bucks on PayPal, I'll go ahead and open that for who was it? Calby? Calby, yes, Calby. <laughs> I think you mean Kelby. Okay, let me put this in here. He says, okay, just donate for yourself. Sounds good. But I tell you what, I'm gonna change it from Hidden Fates to a pack I'm a little more interested in. Let's see, what pack would I most likely want to open right now? The pack I would most likely want to open. I'm looking around. <laughs> Maybe Shining Legends. All right, grab a Shining Legends. Here we go. All right, thank you so much. And it is a, look at that, Shining Jirachi. Pretty good, huh? Sweet. Not bad. That was pretty lucky. Well, thank you very much for that, mister. He looked like he would probably be a nine, but even a nine, I think, will go for a decent amount. Now, let's get Kelby. Mr. Kelby. They're search packs now. <laughs> Don't buy them. <laughs> Get your label. He says it's wigged. Nah, I just got lucky, man. They call that the Shining Legends. No, wait, did I say that right? Yeah, Shining Legends Snipe. That's a Shining Legends Snipe. He's sniping the Shining Legends. Okay, let's put this in here. Mr. Kelvin. Did we open his tag team? Did we open Kelby's tag team? Hold on. I think I'm going crazy here. Kelby. One tag team, one. I don't think we opened it. Oh my God. Give me a minute. Kelby, I, I'm acting a little too fast here. Give me a second. Don't worry, we're fixing it right now. I realized there was a problem. All right, let's try that again. I think I got distracted. Okay. Mr. Kelby, here you go. Sorry about that. How's it going, Dvorak? Welcome back, man. So, you pull a lovely Ultra Necrozma. All right, now we're done opening your pack. I was having that conversation uh, with Mr. Just Amazing Foods and I lost track of the fact that we had to open that pack up for you. Let's put it like that real fast. Taking orders still or nah? Uh, I'm not taking orders anymore. I really, I need to be wrapping up, okay? All right. Stuff. Should have done that a long time ago. Okay. Next up, we have Mr. Snorlax. He says two packs of tag team Japanese. All right, let's see if we can find any packs of tag team Japanese. Here they are. Good luck, Snorlax. Sneep. Sneep. 
What do we got? Ooh, Charizard. It's Charizard. And... Blacephalon. Sweet. Pull in that Charizard GX. That's pretty good. I was going to say, huh? And it's like it didn't come out. <laughs> Pull in that Charizard GX. Huh? Because I'm talking too fast. Talking. All right. Sweet. And we'll go ahead and put this over here. Now we have Jack Beorus. Beorus. He says two Rebel Clash. All right, here you go, Jack. Two Rebel. One week pack and live shipping. I have a bag or two under Jack It Hug and or Jack Beorus. All right, sounds good. Let's start with your week pack. Your week pack is a Dark Energy Hollow from XY Evolutions. And then let's go looking for your bags first. So you say you might have two bags. Jack It Hug and Jack Beorus. Well... If you have an old nickname bag, might be up here. Liam, Loco Jo, JC, Louis, Julian, Curtis, JR, Justin, John Bright. Okay, so it's not there. And we can check down here as well. Okay, here we go. K Freeze, Lil Doe, Luke, Kieran, Kieran, J Money, Jude, Kevin, KB Blooster, Jacket Hug. There we go. Oops. And now we'll go looking for Jack Buris in the new J boxes. Jeffrey Javier. Justin Rudolph. Jonathan Todd. James Manuen. Joshua. Jeff. Jack. Oh. No, Jack Gray. <laughs> Justin. What is it? Jack Buris? Yeah, Jack Buris. Jason Venn. Jason. James, James, Jorge, Jonathan, Ho Jose, Jay, Joel, James, Jorge, Joey. All right, let me try the other box. Why are so many people have Jay in the name? It's the most popular name on the table right now is to have Jay in your name. Jay Manuel, Joshua Kelly, John Paul, Joseph Dolezal, Joseph Krebs. We're looking for a B or S. Jeff. Josue, Josue, Jake, Jaquez, Justin, and Jeremy. There's still one more place it could be. We have this additional box over here, just because of how many people had JK in the name. Justin, Joseph, Lucario, Jury, Jonathan Hernandez, JTF, Jacob, Kyle, Juanito, Jordad, Capiche, JPAC, iSharp, JT. So we just have Jacket Hug. And we're gonna go ahead and open up your Rebel Clash Packs now. You ready? They call me the Bagman, that's right. Professional Bagman by trade. Put it over there. Here we go, pack number one is, ooh, Malamar VMAX. And number two is Shuckleston Journer. Sweet. I think it should be four Rebel Clash. 20 for four, says Jack. It should be... You said two Rebel Clash. Aren't the Rebel Clash $5 each? Or did they have like a minimum order on them? Is that why? Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me look up the uh, details in the video. Rebel Clash, one for five. And you ordered... Okay, so you should have described it as four Rebel Clash. That's all. <laughs> you're, you're right. You just described it wrong. Yeah, you should have said four Rebel Clash. Mister, I have one card from a pack I bought. I don't really collect and just want to support a little. You can put that card into a random bag, says De Denise. Is it Dennis or Denise? Thank you so much, for, uh, Dennis. Dennis? I think it's Dennis. He said I messed up. My bad. Oh, no problem. A very easy to fix problem. We got Metatite and... Flapple Snorlax. What the heck? What is up with these Rebel Clash packs? They need to have that Hyper Dragapult in them already. What's up, Ruben? We're not live too, too late. We're just now reaching the three-hour mark, and we need to wrap up now. 
So this is why we're not taking any more orders. And uh, because we don't want to stream past three hours very long. Although I looked at my last two live streams and one was four and a half hours and the other was four hours. So what I might start doing is implementing a no order, no orders within the last half hour. You know what I mean? So there we go. Let's go ahead and get you shipped, Mr. Mr. Jack. So it looks like you went ahead and you confirmed your address. Dennis said, put it in my bag, mister. Oh, I, I didn't notice that. Let me go get that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So let me grab this. We're putting together your label. Actually, have we shipped you before? I bet we haven't shipped you before. All right, we'll put this here. How much is in there? Not too much. All right. Go ahead and print that. Do it, do it, do it. Mr. Jacket Hug, you are on your way. We just gotta take you over to the shipping table first. see who's next. Ricardo Lopez, what's up, man? One week pack, mister. I need a new bag. Pokistan for life. I get my own life for Pokistan. Sweet. So, Mr. Ricardo, here we go. Oh, you get the hollow pack this time. Oh, some Japanese hollow. All right. I'm looking at getting into collecting. How do you know who to trust when buying booster boxes from? Trust no one, mister. Trust no one. They're all thieves, man. Some stupid guy showing off that you can weigh the freaking Japanese packs. That's just make, it makes me so mad. It really does. Mr. Mr. Ricardo Lopez. Thief economist. All right, guys, this is a professional thieving channel. <laughs> Alan Tan. Alan says one wig, one steam siege. All right, open up, opening up some steam siege. Mister, say like the stream. Uh, whatever you guys do, don't like the stream because then that would activate the giveaway. Okay, so don't worry about liking the stream. One wig pack as well. Let's see what you get in your wig pack. Oh, you're picking up an Erica's Jigglypuff. So puffy. Poof. Toss this over here. Wig packs are pretty popular. This goes to Alan Tan again. So let's find Alan Tan. Alan Tan, sorry you didn't pull anything crazy this time. You have two bags now. Is that like having two girlfriends? Two Tinder honeys? Eric, how do I say your last name? Klischkees? Klischkees. Two custom boosters, I need a bag, first order. Nice to meet you, Eric. Pack number one is Oddish. Pack number two is Reverse Hollow Hitmonchan from Evolution. So that's actually kind of cool. It's actually kind of decent. So those are cold pulls, which means the hot pulls still in the box. Mr. Erickson. Wanted to check and see if you saw my order, says Mr. Jonathan Kiruzi. Jonathan, what name do you go by in PayPal? We'll make sure we didn't miss you. Eric Kleskis. There we go. And we'll put Eric in the E box. So uh, hopefully he hears me what I just said. 
because we're pretty close to done. Which means that if he hasn't had his order made yet, then it might have been missed. Oh, it's right there, actually. Never mind. So you just put your order in. You're brand new. All right, no problem, Johnny. Your, your, your order's right there. You're very close to being taken care of. Normally, there would be a long waiting line. I thought maybe you got, like, missed. You're just new. Yeah, your order came through. Mr. Mario Lopez wants some live shipping. Mario, did you have a PSA card for me I, uh, to uh, ship out? I don't remember. I don't remember if he had one. Reach over here. Like a goof. Like a goof. Let me put this somewhere. Put this here. How do you enter the giveaway? Uh, with nerves of steel... Not even with the homies. Mister, just two orders from today. Do people you know, generally go deep? I tried to pull Golden Reshard in my first box I ever opened the other day. Most have seen the GameStop stonks. What? GameStop? It's GameStop. Mario Lopez. Let's go take a look at your address. Mario, your address starts with 7-2, so that's what I'm shipping them to, Okay. Mr. Mario, shipping it to the address that begins with 72. 72, and there's no apartment number. All right, and we hit print label. GameStop just hit a $100 share, huh? Why? Like, what is GameStop doing that's working? Man, I'd be nervous to invest in GameStop. Toss it right here. I don't understand, like, what are they going to do as a... What, what's their strategy? I heard there's a new owner selling Pokemon cards. Yeah, maybe. M Mr. Beast must have invested. I Did my live shipping order get seen, mister? I know you can't print international labels right now, says so Ryan Payne. Ryan Payne, I'll go looking for it. All right, so give me a moment. Jump back here. Ryan Payne. Should be really careful because I realized these orders. Ah, here you are right here. Mr. Ryan Payne says live international shipping for Ryan Payne. So Ryan Payne, make sure, send me a message on Discord, Ryan Payne, so that I can make sure that your address is up to date. No, see, I, I missed it actually, Ryan. I think one thing that happens is when I'm all caught up on the orders, and people start making orders. Uh, sometimes an order falls underneath another order. It's really annoying. By the way, we opened for... Yeah, we did. Okay. Ryan Payne. Okay. So that's just another thing I got to do. Can I just tape this up here, actually? I wonder if this is a better system. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, make sure that your address is all filled out in the Discord form that I sent you. Hey, we got some international live shipping to catch up on. All right, let's see what's next. So we finished Mario. Now we have Johnny Ciruzzi. Is it Ciruzzi? Hey, Mr. First Time Customer. Here's my shipping address. Uh, my In my order, I want two custom booster packs, four Japanese tag team packs, live shipping. All right. Grab this over here. One, two, three, four. And how many? You said two custom booster packs. Let's see if you get any luck in the custom booster packs. Pack number one is Hollow Chansey. Pack number two is Raichu GX. All right. So still waiting for that hit to show up. Thought he said for tag team. Did he? Oh, my gosh. He did. And I grabbed Shiny Star. Woo! Grabbing that good Shiny Star. Two, three, four. There we go. Tag teams. Here goes, Mr. One, two, three, four. 
he says, I'll take them. Just throw them my way. Now, here we go. Pack number one. Mr. Can I send you cars? I can send you cars to be sent in to be graded, right? Yes, I do a little $5 handling fee for people who want to ship me cards to grade for them. And then after that is the normal price for grading. So the $5 handling fee just kind of discourages people from sending like me like one or two cards. That's the whole point of it. <laughs> Ultra Necrozma. What do we have here? Oh, Melmetal. And, oh, nice. Full Art Psychic Energy. $5 for the whole order. So just to cut your bag open and get you sorted out and figured out. Actually, you know, in the end, a lot of the times I have to mail back the person's order because they don't grade everything. They just grade some of it after I do a pre-grade. So it's like you're giving me more shipping work to do. All right, there we go. That was all for Mr. Johnny. And Johnny, we're gonna get you live shipped now. Let's start by putting a chunk of bulk on top. So the bulk kind of protects the cards in the front. And I like to do a little double or triple baggy on these. What would the international fee be for that? What? What, for grading? I mean, to ship the cards back out to you international, you're gonna have to cover the cost of shipping. What does PSA take per card to grade? A bazillion. Okay, Mr. Johnny. I'm developing a headache right now. Let's see. Perfect. Misters, misters. Apartment one. Sweet. And we'll put that there, and we'll hit print. All right. That deserve a shadow realm. What? Who's being sent to the shadow realm? All right, let's get this shipped. Mr. Johnny, you are live shipped. Congratulations. Let's see who's after Johnny. Man, I am developing a headache. Jesus Christ, man. It's because I haven't had my I haven't had my sodi pop. So it looks like we're all caught up. We made a note that Ryan Payne needs his international live shipping. Let me go ahead and close each of these down, which means we're all done with the live stream. And we have 206 upvotes. So let's go ahead and begin the giveaway. I'm gonna go to the giveaway channel. Give it a moment. I'm jumping to the giveaway channel. And we're gonna jump over to here. Clone channel. We have to create a new one because the other one's full of numbers. All right, now we're opening up the giveaway channel so you guys can go make your guess between one and 150. You get one guess. Sweet. Oh, misters. Man, I'm tired. Okay, we'll put this at 150. All right, so you guys guess your numbers. And what will I do while you guys guess your numbers? I'll sit here and breathe for a minute. Uh. <laughs> he says, it's not that late, mister. Read Alex's donation. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed it. Apologize. Thank you. Alex says, someone posted Danny Phantom PokeTuber address. That sucks. Well, lucky for me, 
it actually would not even matter if my address ended up getting posted because I just used my regular address. I mean, isn't that weird? If people know where these Pokemon YouTubers live, because these guys take shipments all the time too, I'm sure of it. It it's can't actually be that big of a deal. Either way, they're not, they can't like hide their address forever. They might as well just get really good security, which is what I did. I spent thousands on security and, um, you know, just have a gun on you all the time. <laughs> there were actually these videos I would watch of gold and silver. And there was a gold and, gold and silver shop owner. It was an old man. And he had a vault in the background all the time. And on his hip, in every video, he had this gun on his hip. And it was just like, he was telling you, it's like, come in my shop and try to steal my gold. I'm going to shoot you. Right? So he was ready. And I thought that was so interesting, you know? I was like, I, I remember back then, because I didn't own a lot of Pokemon cards yet. So I didn't have a concept of needing security. And he does have a concept of that, because he's running this gold shop. And gold's really valuable. Like, you can easily trade gold. And, um, you know, to like a bank or to like a gold dealer, I guess, probably a gold dealer. And so he's got to protect that stuff. And he just has a gun on his hip. And it's like, man, maybe I should be walking around with, you know, a lot of protection. What kind of firearms do you have, mister? The secret kind. Let me go ahead and shut down the number. I'm going to shut down the giveaway channel now. I'm going to hide it. Last chance to guess your number. Three, two, one. Doop. All right, so that's closed. I didn't give you a lot of time. Let's go ahead and see what the winning number is. The winning number is 11, dude. What? All right. Control find. Let's see who guessed 11. Nobody guessed 11. How about 10? 9? 8. Maybe somebody guessed 8. 7? All right, so two people guessed seven. Uzi, Uzi made two guesses. Oh, he was trying to guess 74. So I think this guy, Mr. Xing Own, I think he's the winner. And let me just make sure he didn't make two guesses. All right. Looks like he has two accounts, actually. It looks like he's only using one of the accounts, though. Okay, that's fine. So Mr. Xing Owns, you're the winner tonight. Hi, new here, two, two no orders. Oh, it's Mario, Mario Lopez just won. Mr. Mario Lopez, let's see what you got. Very interesting. Here goes. Oh my Lord, Mario Lopez, you just won something on the giveaway. That doesn't happen that often. What do you guys think it is? Holy smokes. PSA 9 number 11. Let's find out what PSA 9 number 11 is. All right, are you guys ready for this? Can you guys think of a set where they often have number 11 for a, a gradable, graded Pokemon? So this is for Mario Lopez. We'll write the name on the back. What card do you guys think it is? Wow, congratulations. PSA 9 Charizard Evolutions for Mr. Mario. <laughs> He goes, dang. Congratulations, mister. I'm glad it was you because you were opening some cards tonight. So it's always cool when the prize goes away to somebody who is actually opening some cards. Not that, you know, it's, anyone can win it, but it's always more fun to see that. It's kind of like a little reward. It's kind of like a dessert. <laughs> okay, congratulations to Mario Lopez. That's going to be the end of the live stream. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.